What's going on, Drinking Buddies? Brand new podcast coming right at you, but you know what we got to do first. We got to do those things that generate a little money for the show. First and foremost, we are brought to you by the Patreon at patreon.com slash Matt Slayer. And holy hell, there is definitely an uncensored version of this week's episode. Nina gave me so much post work for the YouTube version. I totally forgot what it's like when Nina's on air. The last two times she did the show was before the video versions had to be censored. Go see the uncensored version of this week's episode at patreon.com slash Matt Slayer. Also, you can support this show by going to the merch store at anwd.net slash merch. Get yourself a rad hat, an awesome shirt. Just tell the world you're a drinking buddy. And all the proceeds go to supporting the show. Once again, at anwd.net slash merch. We are also brought to you by our friends at Casa Nica. Casa Nica is a wellness brand. Yes, we'll go with wellness brand for monetization purposes. The kind of wellness that is lubricated and vibrates and is a very important part of your life. Go to casa-nika.com today and use promo code ANWD at checkout to save 15% off all orders. And any orders over $100 in the continental U.S. gets free shipping. Go to casa-nika today. Last, but certainly not least, the easiest way you can support this show. It's twofold. One, signal boost. Share posts. Let your friends know about the show. The other, a very easy way, is go to youtube.com slash now we drink. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. Feed the algorithm. It's really that easy. Just a couple minutes of your time drinking, buddies. Appreciate the hell out of you. Let's get on with it. My guest this week, returning for the third time, maybe fourth, third in studio for sure, is the one and only outrageous Nina L. Oh, I love Nina. She's She is just a ball of energy, even though she rolled in hungover and hungry, as she said. This episode is ridiculous as every other appearance Nina's made. So, yeah, just sit back, relax, pop a cold one, and enjoy Drinking Buddies. Whiskey now. Sheesh, pour it up. I got you, boo boo. Let's do this. Let's drink. I got my tequila. You got your whiskey. Hell yeah, as we do. As <laughs> I'm we... still drunk from yesterday. Perfect. <laughs> I'm a cheap date today. Even better. <laughs> I'm hungry and drunk from yesterday, so it's going to kick Why in. Why did no one feed you? Because I didn't have time because I literally didn't wake up till like an hour before I had to come here. <laughs> <laughs> literally, I literally, I could not. I was like, you know what? If I wouldn't love you so much, I would totally be that bitch and flake. But I'm like, I can't do that because I love you, Matt. Aw. 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 I'm not making that. What? 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 No. It doesn't sound the same when I make that noise. It's just weird at that point. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. It sounds like one of those little mini pigs. What? 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 I'm sorry. God damn. Yeah, I told you I'm so drunk, okay? This is like, we're coming anyway, in hot. You know what I woke up to this morning? Oh, God, what? So I am wake up hungover as fuck. First of all, he harasses me and bangs me. So I'm like, we get that done. And then as I'm going to the shower, he starts telling me this story about a scene that he shot, two scenes that he shot, about how he strangled these girls. And like It was like a pretend snuff film. He shot. because you know, Who was he? Tony. Tony, my fiance. Because he used to be in porn, too. So he was telling me a story. So, by the way, I just want to let you know I shot these um, two snuff films, but we didn't really kill them. We just pretended like we killed them. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm how like, long, did, you, how long ago were these scenes? Uh, how, he's, how long were they? How long ago? Ten years? So why is she just bringing it up today? I, I don't know. I'm like, I think I, I, that's when I met you like ten years ago. So you were out there strangling and fucking hoes while you were fucking me. Good thing you didn't try to strangle me. Like, fuck. What would you do if he tried to strangle you? Nina? I mean, he had, I mean, I did, I do like getting choked. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, 
<laughs> I don't mind getting choked. But, you know, it's just got to be a happy medium. Not, right, right. Not unconscious. Not, not unconscious. And then he said, and, and then we put stuff in the girl's mouth to make them look like they're foaming out their mouth, <laughs> bleeding out their mouth. And he's like, it was really tiring because I had to like choke them like this and I had to flex my arms while I'm choking them. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then I had to roll the bitch up in the carpet and put it over my shelf. How does this come? Like, I, I don't know. I just got up and he started just telling me, oh, make us, we were watching like serial killer documentaries. He's like, yeah, you like serial killers, so guess what? I shot. <laughs> okay. Like, oh that makes fuck? a little more sense because I'm just imagining like he comes and he's like, by the way, 10 years ago, I used to just choke girls on camera. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> just nothing inside you is what made him think of it yeah <laughs> like, uh, I mean, Tony you do you me on. <laughs> do you boo boo <laughs> that's what I was like I was like I ran to the bathroom so quick I was like I, was like, I don't know I didn't know how I feel about him after. I was like you never told me what What else what else has been going on I don't I don't. I never knew about wait a minute you never went through his filmography and see no I don't want to see that shit you don't want to see Tony's work no I don't know no, I, st- I get jealous. <laughs> you want him to watch your work? No. No? I don't like watch my own work. Well, obviously. <laughs> no. Well, that, that would, but that I, would think, be I think he does watch my work. He does. He does. He does. I think he, when we were apart, he used to spank off to it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, see? He used to jack off to it, for sure. <laughs> like, I'm out of town a little too long. And all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I usually live with like my pussy or something if I go out of town. <laughs> My toy pussy. Like, here you go. Oh, I can use like when he when I'm tired and he wants to fuck me. I'm so here you go. <laughs> buy my pussy, people. By the way, buy my pussy. It's on sale in all sex shops. It's molded after my vagina, and it'd be really weird if it wasn't molded after your vagina. It is well, actually. Well, molded. no, I know, yeah. but it'd be really weird if your pussy was. Molded. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> that'd be weird. I feel like he would be cheating on me then. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cheating if you hand it to him? <laughs> no. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's somebody else's pussy. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's, that's a that's like a question like if a tree falls, <laughs> does anybody hear it fall? So if I hand it to him, is it still, I don't know. <laughs> it's like if Tony comes in a fake model of your uh-huh. pussy. Did he just come in another bitch? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I have to leave him. <laughs> you cheated on me. <laughs> but it's got to be okay if you hand him the pussy. <laughs> I just want to see what he does. See, I knew you would cheat on me. <laughs> this is how he ends up Fucking dead pig. again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the guy that uh, I chopped up and put in the trunk. Yeah. yeah. Does he know about that? Well, he was. <laughs> well, now that we're being honest today. <laughs> I mean, it was only on a podcast. It was only broadcast on the fucking internet. <laughs> and now we drink. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, these cups are so cool, by the way. <clears throat> These are um, so Van Gogh cups. Yes. Tell me a story about them. <laughs> well, apparently, you know, Vincent Van Gogh was ahead of his time making glasses with, or not glasses. This is a painting. It was turned into a glass. <laughs> they are glasses, but it was a painting of a, of a skeleton smoking a cigarette. Van Gogh was a crazy person. Uh-huh. I'm, I believe he cut off his ear. Okay. No, I, see, I thought it was over a chick. What? I so he wasn't simping. No, he no. wasn't super simp. No, no, no. He wasn't super simp. He was just like on acid and thought it was a bug on the side of his head. Or uh, looking at these pictures, I mean, they're pretty psychedelic. I mean, they're pretty rock and roll. It's pretty dope, badass. Apparently, he cut off his left ear when his he just got pissed off at another artist. <laughs> Damn, that's. I don't know. He sounded like he had anger issues. Yeah, Van Gogh's illness Fuck revealed you, itself. He began to hallucinate and suffered attacks in which he lost consciousness during one of these attacks. He used the knife. He couldn't. <laughs> nothing about the event. Like, what kind of bender are you on that you wake up the next day and be like, I, I cut off my own fucking ear? <laughs> he was definitely on a sick one, bro. That was like a three day bender. I don't know. He must have been like on acid or something. Imagine. Yeah, I don't know. Like, who knows? <laughs> you look up into where you want. I mean, I've woken up like times where I like vomit in my hair and stuff, or woke up half naked, like shit like that. I had with puke, puke on my, my bed sheets. But like waking up without an ear, that's pretty, that's a good one. Yeah, that, that's quite a fucking I think, vendor. I think we got, he got his top there. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, I have never lost part of my, yeah, I've never lost part of my body because of a bed. I had to think about it. <laughs> but you've eaten body parts. Uh, testicles of bulls. <laughs> yeah, I was sober for that. <laughs> I don't know. I still question that to this day. I'd still do it. They're delicious. You were not sober. 
You, you I mean, fall. a couple drinks, but that, that doesn't count. <laughs> sober ish. Sober for me. Sober. My standards. <laughs> By my standards, I had like two or three drinks. I was sober at the time. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know. I still can't get over that one. They're good. They wouldn't serve them in restaurants if people didn't eat them. They serve lots of shit in restaurants. Like, lots of shit. Like what? Like, like, like shit. <laughs> what restaurants are you eating, Indina, <laughs> that they are serving you literal shit? No, <laughs> no I don't know. Like, I, I like, there's some restaurants that serve, like, like fish. Do you not eat sushi? <laughs> no. It's disgusting. Delicious. I do not eat any seafood. None. I think the only thing that I eat that comes out of the ocean is seaweed. Maybe. And I have to be like in a spicy mood for that. But I won't even. So so my analogy is if I don't want to touch it with my hand, why would I put it in my mouth? Like that's sick. (laughs) I mean, I would like touch a baby cow. I would cuddle it. I'd kiss it. And I'd eat just, it. Just a big bite out of that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I'll go to sleep. Go to sleep. Moo, 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 moo. <laughs> yeah. So I don't feel like that about fish. I don't even want to. I don't even want to look at them. They're kind of like weird. Well, to be fair, fucking tunas are huge. So you. Could, they're gross. They're, why are they gross? They're just giant fat fucking. Do you want to cuddle a tuna? No, because it's bigger than me. It, it'd kill me. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're so dumb. Yeah, they're dumb. It wouldn't intend to kill me. It just would kill me. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know. I wouldn't even, I don't even want to smell a tuna. You know, it's just, are you looking up how big tunas are? Yeah, they're 500 to 550 pounds. Oh my God. It's a big fucking fish. That's like more than you and Tony put together. <laughs> Not by much. Uh, Not by much. <laughs> I mean. I didn't hit the uh, gym. He's like, yeah, huh, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm so sweaty. Like, I'm, like, scooting here, like, in my own sweat. And then I have, like, under boob sweat, like, really bad. Look look at this. I have under, under tit sweat. Already? Yeah. Jeez, Nina. I feel like I need to pull my titties out and let them air out. But. I mean, you can. You know you can. I, I can't pull them out on air like this? Let's I mean, you, you have every other time you've been on the show. <laughs> I mean, like, they come, I mean, look at this. They're, like, sweating. Oh, there, there's another There's another piece of a... Uh, beef jerky. Beef jerky. <laughs> Yeah, normally it's later in the show for your tits to come out, but you know that they, they're allowed to come out. Oh, they're hot. Whew. It's hot in here, guys. Sorry. I yeah, have to uh, bear with my titties right out. Well, the Patreon people will. <laughs> people on YouTube, not so much. Didn't somebody complain last time that my titties weren't out on one show? Yeah, they're like, what the fuck? Why didn't your titties come out this time? Well, no, they were, bitch- they were bitching that <laughs> your titties were only out for a short amount of time on the patreon oh like dog this isn't porn there's special sites you can go to right there's a lot of other sites i mean i appreciate the patreon sub but there are a lot of other sites you can go to to see nina's tits (laughs) her titties were only out for 10 minutes during the show fuck that show (laughs) the the worst the (laughs) fucking worst (laughs) fucking worst heaven forbid you have to hear what nina has to say (laughs) i feel like i need to take my shirts off my shorts off too like I'm really sweaty. I'm gonna take my shorts off. Can I take my shorts off? Sure. My ass is really sweaty. Like, like look, it's like sweaty. It's like it's like sweaty. Like, it's like, super sweaty. Sorry guys. Welcome back to the show, Nina. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I feel better now. Oh, titties. Titties on my okay. Oh, oh, excuse me. Please don't destroy my equipment with your titties. Okay, okay got it. All right. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Okay, we're back. Oh, I feel better now. Good. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's still slippery. It's slippery. All right. It's a leather chair. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Scurf board riding on the. <laughs> you know, people might you know, leave some fluids behind. The topic, so. <laughs> you can sell this chair on eBay. It's got Nina snail trails on it. Wouldn't be the first snail trail on it. <laughs> oh, I can't catch anything here, can I? No. Were they all tested? Yes. <laughs> okay. You should just check their test before the snail trail. <laughs> I gotta check it. It's like, hey, welcome to the show. We're not gonna be fucking, but I need to see the clean test. Just, just to make in case sure you I, snail trail the chair. You know, I do clean the chair occasionally. How about that? Oh, I don't. I don't that's clean my chairs. That's why it's leather. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going. That's why you have leather chairs. Well, at least for the guest food, chair. Just... My my chair's wood. Oh. <laughs> Mostly because I broke my leather chair, but <laughs> he likes sitting on the wood. <sighs> I just walked right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> walked right into that one. Uh, uh, 
dad jokes. <laughs> Nina's got them for days. For days. Nina's got the dad jokes. So, yeah, ask me something cool. Questions? I don't know. My brain is no help me out today. Like, my brain is just like, I'm really. Before we got on here, Nina's like, I hope you have questions for me. I'm like, you've done this show multiple <laughs> yeah. times. You think there's questions that happen here? I'm just, you, you caught me on the worst date. I'm just like so out of it. I went to bed at 7 a.m. You should have just not slept. All night. Oh, that would have been delirious. I know. I it was great. <laughs> great content. Yeah. <laughs> great content right there. <laughs> we fell asleep. <laughs> Two we'll hours of that. Nina L sleeping on Mike. <laughs> Sleep. That's the podcast. Just out here snoring, just <laughs> ruining dudes' illusions of you. <laughs> it's like Nina snores. Well, at least I, I do. I snore. I don't snore. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I oh, do. he's about to be dead again. I, he's about to be back chopped up in the trunk of my car. <laughs> well, you better wait till you get home because you can't drive yourself home after this. Oh God, yeah, yeah that's true. True. Yeah. Can't kill the victim first. Yeah. Tony's got to stay of it. Execution. <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky, bro. Lucky. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> oh, I got a bite here. I realize it's been like two years since you've been on the show. What the fuck have you been up to? Mm. Fuck. Nothing, really. That's exciting, Nina. That's really exciting. <laughs> out here living your life. No, I just, I've just i been shooting the OnlyFans. A lot of OnlyFans. I retired two years ago. So I think shortly after you had me on the show. He's like, fuck this industry. I'm out. <laughs> fuck it out. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> no, I just didn't feel like it anymore. Like, I felt like I was in for almost 10 years and I just uh, took a cycle and I left in my glory. And, you know, I just didn't want to be one of those old hoes still lingering. <laughs> Plus, you know, being able to shoot OnlyFans is really dope because I can control my own content and do what I want. And I own the content because... You know, when you shoot porn, you just get a paycheck, and you're just like, oh, that's it. And then they can do whatever the fuck they want to do with you. Oh, I know. Your content, which is shit. And hell, some of the model releases these days, people are having to look out to make sure they're not selling your rights for AI shit. Yes, yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, it's just it's crazy. So now I'm like, nah, I'll just keep my shit to myself and do my own shit. And, you know, just living out in, in the valley, in the hills with four cats. I'm a crazy cat lady. <laughs> I can't stop getting cats. <laughs> I have a sick obsession with cats. Yeah, I'm a cat mom and you know, raising raising my cats, nursing my cats. <laughs> what do your cats think about your OnlyFans career? They chill and watch sometimes. They hang out. Say, say, lays on the bed and just, <laughs> just, just stretches out with his eight little nipples and stuff. This his is eight little nipples? Yeah, he's so pretty. Like, this is him. I mean, he's a black cat. Yeah, I don't like, think a he has eight nipples. He does. Oh, you guys have nipples. You have nipples. I don't have eight. You you don't have eight nipples. I don't. Oh, I thought you said you don't have eights. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't have eight nipples. I do not have eight nipples. <laughs> no, but I mean, he has guy nipples, guy cat nipples. And then he has like a hernia, so it's kind of like it sags, like it has like a little fumpa. You know? <laughs> but he's the sweetest thing. We got Say Say, and then he got Marley, and then he got Ollie, and then he got Ziggy. And I think I have a hall pass for one more cat with him, but that's got to be a Maine Coon. They're really expensive, so. That's a giant fucking cat. Fuck yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Why do you want a giant? Because they're fucking amazing. Oh, they're so sexy. Like, they're fucking amazing. Just so big and majestic and just like, oh, <laughs> so hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and all her pussy. <laughs> I love me some pussy. <laughs> mew, mew, mew. <laughs> I feel like that's how it goes in the industry, like. There are so many crazy cat moms in this industry. Do you know why? Why? Because I feel like when you shoot porn, like you are always being like oversaturated with being touched and being like uh, this and people all up on you. So they want something like, or I do at least, something that you know, gives you a little bit of love and then gives you space. And it's very independent. So the last thing you want is something else that's needy on you in your off time. So <laughs> that's why. Yeah. That's a good explanation. I never even thought about it. That's what I, I know so because that's oh. how I feel. <laughs> Because dogs just be sitting there like, <laughs> what, what, you, what you breathing on me for? <laughs> or they just come put like their nose up your crotch or your butt and like, stop. This is not consensual. Like I, I don't want, I don't want this. Dogs just remind you of more dudes. <laughs> just like uh, uh, licking on you. I'm like, no, stop. He likes you. Well, I don't like him. So yeah. <laughs> 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 just, 
<laughs> Basically, that's why they call men dogs and female cats, I think. Cause well, that and just dogs, you know, when they're in heat, fucking hump. Uh, they do. And that's one thing about, I like about cats, too. You know, I can sit there and eat my food, and my uh, cat's not just, like, hump and shit. <laughs> like, I went for your friend's barbecue the other day, and I was eating, and this dog's just like... I'm in away. I'm trying to eat my burger. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> like, take that somewhere else right now. It's unnecessary. So I can't. I can't deal with that. Yeah. I don't want any animals because I just can't keep them alive. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Well, yeah, that's why I don't have children I mean, either. <laughs> you just can't keep them alive. Yeah, they're like house plants. Like, <laughs> just, gotta feed them or some shit. Feed and water them. Right. Give them nutrients and shit. <laughs> I do do the right part. I put them in the soil. <laughs> You got that one right. I got that part right. <laughs> Just never oh. quite make it out of there. <laughs> they're supposed to grow out of it, right? Yeah, they're supposed to just start growing out of it like a plant. <laughs> this is why I'm not a parent. <laughs> then you got to water it. Who would trust me with children anyways? <laughs> I mean, I would. Your children are adults. Yeah, who's 21. Right. <laughs> You'll probably drink with you. <laughs> exactly. I, so, that's also probably a bad plan. You probably don't want your 21-year-old child to go out drinking with I you. I should probably bring him next time. <laughs> He would fucking love that. I do drink with him all the time. Well, yeah, you drinking amazing. with him and me drinking with him are two separate things. I, I don't know. I think I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good drinker. You are. Yeah, he's a stoner though, so I think anybody can probably out drink him. Oh, yeah. He's he's well, a he's bad a parent pot. raising there. <laughs> he's a pothead. I know, right? How'd you raise a pothead? I used to be a big pothead back in the day, and then I just now I don't like it anymore. It just makes gives me anxiety. It just. I don't know. It's not, it makes me fall asleep. It's like Xanax. It makes me fall asleep. I'm like, oh. Yeah, no, that's why I don't fuck with THC either. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, it's like such a downer for me. I was like, oh, try Sativa, try Indica. I'm like, bro, it's all the same. It makes me all tired and weird. <laughs> like, it's, it's like THC, unconscious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what it is. Like, I'd be hanging out with these girls. And I'm like, oh, you want to smoke? I'm like, only if you want to carry me. <laughs> right? I'm like, <laughs> I'm generally not in the business of fucking around with girls who can carry me. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be kind of, you never thought about that, like, you know, fucking a strong girl. That'd be kind of like scary, like fucking a strong girl, because you don't know if she's going to like choke you or make you orgasm. Hopefully both. <laughs> choke you and make you orgasm? Well, yeah. I mean, if she's going to choke me, I better come. Like with her legs, just like, ah. I mean, it is hot when someone like, you know, you're in mission, like they wrap, wrap around and like you oh, won't yeah, let yeah. you pull out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that shit so is So you hot. haven't ended up with no babies yet? Nope. Never but will. You've been putting the, you've been putting the position? <laughs> Yep. And that they're, they're t- I, mean, I don't even have to knock on wood anymore. I have a vasectomy. I'd like it's- <laughs> oh. Only for the last two years. I definitely, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think since the last time you did the show, I got the vasectomy done. So, like, I was still fertile last time you did the show. Oh, is that what changed? It is. Oh, I can tell. Your demeanor is. <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same. You just drink more now. <laughs> I don't know if I, maybe. I don't know. I feel like my voice is different. <laughs> I just eat bull balls now. <laughs> Oh, no, I can still nut. <laughs> yeah, you can still nut, right? Oh, no, I would have never done it. No, if, like, I, I heard, like, so when you get a bisectomy, you have to, like, jack off every day. And then when you jack off and you ejaculate blood, right? So, first, isn't that kind of scary? <laughs> it's like, I, ah! I never came blood. I never. I, really? I, yeah, they said it might happen, but it, it never happened. And you actually have to not nut for, like, the first seven days after the procedure. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just like, cool. <laughs> The idea of fucking trying to rub one out probably would have sucked. Yeah, probably like, and then you're kind of scared what happens when you do. You're like, ah, oh, is this going to hurt? <laughs> First time I popped afterwards, it was just like, okay, blood? No blood? No blood. Ooh, yes. We're good. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, and to- that was a solo adventure because the last thing you want to do is like hook up with someone. Right. The time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, oh, fuck. Huh? Oh. Just want to give you a little warning. I don't know what might come out. <laughs> How horrified would you be if, like, someone went to finish on you and, like, came fucking blind? That actually happened to me. Really? In porn. I don't want to say the... the yeah, don't say dude's name. But it was on a browser set. And it was blood. I'm like, oh, my God. That was just so... But I guess he had hurt his dick, like, bent it or something. You broke his dick? <laughs> you broke his dick, man? <laughs> You're like, you broke his dick? Oh, you broke his dick. You broke his dick. I, I, he stands such a crying voice. <laughs> You broke his dick. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know if it's broken before I got it or if you know if, it, if I did it, but somewhere it got broke down the line. <laughs> well, I'd hope if he broke his dick before he got to you, he wouldn't show up to set that day. I, I don't know. He might have. I think you know. You know what? People are porn sometimes they play off shit. They show up to set with all kinds of like like ring dicks all sideways. Like it's it's dicks. still good. It's still good. <laughs> it's like, it's like a fucking weird angle. Like just, fine, we're good. We're good. I'm it's like, good. Oh, it's you're good. not fine. <laughs> 
girls will show up with stinky pussies. Oh, it's totally fine. No, you're not fine. <laughs> nope. Like that's what I was like. I'm out of here. <laughs> Shit's getting too weird. It just it started getting weird. Porn for me. I don't know. I felt like it, it's how did it get like, weird? I don't know. It's just different. It's just different now. I think because like there is. I don't know. It's just different. It's a different time. I think maybe because like all the only fans it just oversaturated with people. When I came in, it was like. Oh, we were like real porn stars. But like, you know, but now it's just like I just everybody and everybody's mama kind of wants to do porn. It's well, there's no okay. barrier entry to it. Like, if you got a fucking iPhone, you could be on OF. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, oh, this is stupid. It was like, I feel like it was like more exclusive back in the day. And I was like, oh, everybody. Yeah. Well, back in the day, there were gatekeepers. Like, yeah. someone had to sign off on you being on the set. Exactly. And Some yeah, agent exactly. had to say, you're hot enough for me to represent exactly. you. Exactly. And nowadays, it's just not like that anymore. So I'm yeah. like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I'm out. I mean, hopefully making a paycheck. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but it's even, not even that anymore. I felt like, you know, back in the day, you had contracts and you know, we were like vivid girls or browsers girls. Now it's just like, yeah, it's. Well, browsers are still doing some. Yeah, they do service. every now and then. I think they're like one of the only ones that still do that. Yeah, I mean the only ones with money. To Playboy's kind of gone. I mean, browsers own Playboy. Oh, do they now? Yeah, a while ago. I'm gonna have to put my titties in because I think I'm sweating over the top and I still want to see. Look at this. Now they're all sweaty on top. Thank yeah. you for like less post production work for me. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, I, ha- sorry, I do have to censor your tits okay. every time they're okay. out. So. Okay. Yep. So I, how are you gonna do that? You're just gonna put like the whole time while I'm talking, like yeah, black bar over. Oh. Okay, well, see, also I'm not going to take, take a minute now, so you have to, oh, oh sorry. I'll just, I'll warn you ahead of time. So like, I'm going to take my tits out now. It's now a good time to take my tits out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so oh. wh- why was the guy mad about me not having my titties? What, he couldn't even fucking see the titties. If there are bars over them the whole time. Oh, no, no, no. He, he paid for the Patreon. Oh, that's, okay. Oh, you smart. Yeah, he paid for the Patreon. Pay for play. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with tits, so why would I not, like. Right. Especially Patreon's cool with it. It's well, you should charge them extra this time because they got to see some ass too. <laughs> extra. My Patreon, my Patreon has a flat rate. Oh, really? Wow. You should, it, I mean, I did it's not an OF. Well. It's not like I'm doing pay per views on this motherfucker. <laughs> I just feel like you can charge more because it's some ass. Like at least like twenty five cents or something. Of my you, ass. you think your ass is only worth twenty five cents, Nina? I mean, it collects so if everybody pays. I mean, you know how many people are watching it. I mean, I do know how many people are watching exactly. it. Exactly. I so see the metrics. Pays extra, you know, so it's like... It's so like a, 75 cents ain't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Fuck. There you are in my left ear, really. <laughs> kidding. He's in my left ear, guys. So he's like the, the left, the, the voice in my left I, ear. I'm the devil on your shoulder. He's, you know, the devil always is <laughs> on the left, the angel's on the right. Oh, that's how you put yourself on the left. No, I just... For <laughs> yeah, no. But now I'm running with that. Now I'm just like, yeah, I'm just the devil in your ear. Oh, 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 what are you saying now, Devil? <laughs> what should I do now, Devil? <laughs> Not give me most more post production. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, they're gonna get their twenty five cents worth. So Woo! We're keep the titties in for now. For now. For now. For now. They might come out later. <laughs> the minute is hot again. Just, uh, <laughs> I might have to air my ass out in a second because it's getting really sweaty again. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Patreon's gonna allow me to like show your asshole. <laughs> I can't. You can't wear my asshole out. But you get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to set that for Patreon too. I, that that might be like be on their like tasteful nude policies. <laughs> tasteful. I don't know if asshole can be tasteful in any way. I mean, it depends on who you ask. I, I, I mean, it's just not. Tony, does she have a tasteful ass? What do you mean? <laughs> so that was a non-committal answer. He. he- she does not eat my ass enough. <laughs> the first time you hear him say it's on the background. It has. Yeah, well, he only wants to do, like, the worst time. Like, when we be partying and, like, drinking. And I just, you know, been pooping all night and stuff. And I'm showering. And he's like, now I want to eat you. I'm like, no, no, you're not. But then when I'm fresh out of the shower and I'm shaved, he's like, ah, nah, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> But when I'm like ratchet and dirty, it's just like, yeah, I just want to be all in there. Ah. <laughs> like, not- Wait, well, you don't think that's hotter than he wants you like just hot and ratchet? No, I think he's just drunk out of his mind. Usually at that time, he doesn't really care what he puts in his. <laughs> We've and- all been there, Tony. We've all been there. <laughs> We've all had those moments of just like, yep, drunk, would like to fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm the complete opposite. I just like pass out. I'm like, <sighs> And he'll just get so like horny, like I wake up and he's still like humping my leg and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, stop moving me. Like, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> like, like, can we move me one more time? But he's still humping like five hours later. I'm like, bro, do some yoga, take a nap, drink some water, go on a hike. 
Do you want me to buy you a hooker? I'm like, no, but Wouldn't yeah. that be cheating if you're buying a... <laughs> That's why my pussy comes in and throw my pussy and I'm here to take this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Because <laughs> my mouth is dry. My eyes are dry. My nose is dry. My cooch is dry. My butt is dry. Well, like, your nose being dry really shouldn't factor into this, I don't think. Yeah, because it hurts. Oh, I was about to say, like... What's he trying to put in your well, nose? Well, when you're sucking dick, and then you have to use your, your your nose more because you're not using your mouth to breathe, so you have to fully breathe through your nose. So then it hurts. You know, these are things I never thought about. Like, <laughs> and all the times I've had my dick sucked, I never really gave any thought to how she's breathing. Her nose breathe, her mouth breathe. <laughs> never, never given any... And, wow, that makes me sound like such a bad person. I've never given any consideration about how she's breathing. How she's breathing. <laughs> she just didn't care. Just put that dick right in that mouth. And right, it's just like it up, bitch, and you don't know if she's breathing or comfortable. Or I'm not even thinking. Air. Right, <laughs> zero thoughts about this. Like my my biggest concern is like making sure her hair isn't like falling, like holding that, her hair for. That's, her. that's, gen- that's nice. Yeah. That's generous of you. Yeah, that's my only concern in the moment. Also, because I want to see it. Uh, yeah, true that. Yeah, that's uh, see. You gotta be a hair holder, babe. You'll hold my hair more. And I, I told him the other day he needed to shave his balls because I was like choking on his hair. I was like, oh. <laughs> I, got I was like, like, poor rot. There was. <laughs> it's a Zola. It's a Zola. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Oh, no. <laughs> but You got to maintain, dudes. You got to maintain. Yeah, I got lazy. It's okay. I love them. I mean, y'all in a relationship. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm sure lazy happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I do too. I get lazy. <laughs> like, sometimes, you know, I just don't want to breathe through my nose when I'm sucking dick. <laughs> Sorry, I, I got to go neti pot before I go. <laughs> yeah, I got a neti pot. I go flush that out in neti pot. I have one of those. They're pretty cool. Like, I have an electric one. Like a oh, look, look at you, fancy. <laughs> I know, right? I just put it in my nose and then just press one. It's like, and then. It clears it out. All the stuff from the night before comes out. <laughs> and I can reuse it. <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to make a joke about reusing the stuff from the night before. <laughs> you can try it out and reuse it. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I don't do that. And I would never reuse it. <sighs> Jokes. Never do drugs. <laughs> drugs are bad, kids. <laughs> drugs are horrible. Drugs are bad. Okay. But theoretically, if you did, I'm sure that would have a high resale value if it came out of your nose and redried. Ooh, right? That's like a special like strain. Like, I mean, that's like in Miami, they have like they have like coconut cocaine and they have like they have a strawberry and like <laughs> when I was down for expos, people were talking about like, you know, pink cocaine and shit. Yeah, well, that's not cocaine, that's Tusi. So you're not even doing cocaine. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't do powders, so I have no clue. <laughs> That is like like everything mixed together. That's like that's like horse tranquilizers. That's like Molly. That's like cocaine. That's like whatever they can find. I don't know. Whatever. It's like the fucking rail shot from a bar. Like when you like pick up the mat. Fritz. Like whatever. They're like picking up the mat. Like whatever powders we can put in the bag. Here you go. Whatever they found in the bathroom on the, <laughs> the bar. And then they call it to see. So, yeah. That's, I don't know. I wouldn't do that stuff. I don't know. I just, yeah, that, that sounds like a way to die. Yeah. I just, I don't think I have a death wish like that. This isn't, plus, like, this kind of like a person downer. So you're like, woo, uh, uh, I'm on Molly. Woo, now I'm kind of in. Woo, now I'm cocaine. Like, I don't, I don't know how that would, like, not well. No, not well. That Are you look, really bipolar or something? No. It sounds like a tox report on your autopsy. <laughs> like, well, we found in her system. <laughs> well, and it was pink. Actually, I did it one time, and it was in Hollywood, and it was in a bad spot in my life, and I tried it. And I didn't know what it was. And then my friend FaceTimes me, and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing pink cocaine. She's like, that is not cocaine that you're doing. <laughs> it was pretty – I didn't feel good, so I'll never touch it again. But Probably a wise move. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. She's like, that's not cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just don't fuck around with powders. It, it's just eh. – It's an eh. <laughs> just a, it's not my jam. It's just – Yeah, everybody has a jam. Right? Exactly. I'm like, I don't judge people. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. I don't judge people that do it. I do judge people that, you know, make it their lifestyle. Yeah. Like, everyone knows the insufferable, some insufferable cokehead who's just yeah. like, every moment is like. Yeah, they're waking up. Like, they're just like, oh. Like, every day I'm sitting there. Oh. <laughs> not, yeah. Like, hey, you want to start a business? Want to hear about my script? <laughs> What's that? 
every time we start, start talking about start a business on there, I go, this is like, I think the most like talked about conversated thing in kitchens at three in the morning. <laughs> Whatever it's doing below. Everybody has some business idea. <laughs> I've seen it happen many times. Same, same. <laughs> same. And it's like, if I'm still awake at three in the morning at a party, I'm drunk. Right. At that point, it's like, I would like to get laid now. Oh, y'all are <laughs> coked up. That's not happening. <laughs> oh, so that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. Yeah. I mean, he goes, he goes, he goes, oh, he doesn't do coke. But, <laughs> but you know, some guys just go and they don't come. They just go. And some, you know, it affects everybody differently. Yeah. Well, I think it's probably also what it, you know potentially cut with in some situations. Yeah. I mean, nowadays you can't trust shit, and it's cut with weird shit. That I know. fentanyl stuff is crazy. It's scary. Though I don't fuck with it. Like there are Narcan in my fridge, just in case. Like yeah, you know, I don't want anyone to die in my apartment. Yeah, that's a good idea. You're so you're so cool. You're like, no, I just really don't want a dead body in my. One hundred percent, I don't want a dead body in my apartment. Like, it's not really that. Much. I just don't want a dead body. In my like I really don't want to be like. On TMZ tomorrow, like, Nina L. <laughs> dies on it, now we drink. Right. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, you don't want yeah, to have that as your legacy. Well, I mean, the show would go on. <laughs> I would. Like, you know, make you infamous, you know. I mean, maybe I do want that press. <laughs> well, uh, so I got to go now. <laughs> I don't want no, not, someone else. You know, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> someone I like less. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. Well, she liked me. Oh, cheers okay, to that. Friend, cheers friend, to that. You're a friend. Cheers, friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I don't make it out to the fucking middle of nowhere more often. You know what? It's not the middle of nowhere. It is the middle of You're nowhere. You're in the middle of nowhere. I live in Hollywood, California. Okay. Well, I live in Simi Valley, California, and I have a big pool. And you could jump it in your banana hammock, and <laughs> we can barbecue for you, and you can play with my kitties. And I think, didn't you come out one time? I did. I did. You did. I did. Yeah, when I had the two story house. Yeah, yeah, I had to chase your cat around the fucking. Oh, you did. One of my cats. Yeah, one of your cats got out. I chased your cat around <laughs> oh, the fucking. I remember. <laughs> You were rolling out of the car at three in the morning yelling for pussy. I was. I was. Hey, pussy, pussy, pussy. Where the, like, fuck no, did, no. where the fuck did Nina's pussy go? <laughs> I'm looking for Nina's pussy. I'm looking for Nina's pussy. <laughs> Our neighbors hated us, needless to say. We got out of there pretty quick. Yeah, I can imagine. I think they were rallying because like, it was just such a small townhouse. We always had ragers in there and they just hated us. And then our pussies were just everywhere and we had pussies out. And it was just. And then one time my friend Jack, he peed off the balcony. Uh, the first night we moved in, he peed from the back of the top, you know, the top balcony, peed all the way down. So I, I think I wasn't a Jack, former guest of the show as well. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, Jack, <laughs> which is now my roommate. We oh, Jack's have, living with you? Yeah, yeah, so he's my roommate. So we have, yeah, we have lots of fun when he works. Like we'll just watch like old movies because I'm not a big like movie watcher. So he'll like show me all. I watch like for the first time Django. I watch what else? He show me um. I don't even remember because I don't pay attention. <laughs> Something else that was pretty good. Oh, that Nazi movie. Inglorious Bastards? Yes, that one. There's a lot of Nazi movies. you got to clarify these things. Yeah, yeah, no, that one. Because some of them are pro-Nazis. And you probably don't want to be like, oh, yeah, just that one Nazi movie. I mean, I, you know, I mean, my, my hair, I'm German. <laughs> yeah, there's Germans that aren't Nazis these days. It's actually pretty illegal to be a Nazi in Germany these days. It is, it is, actually, yeah. Okay. They banned Wolfenstein 3D back in the day because of they did, know, yeah. Nazi yeah. imagery in Germany. They're very, they're very, they're very um, con- they're not, they're, they're very, they don't like Nazis over there in, in Germany. I they're mean, very, it's very taboo to speak about it over there. But I just think because they just want to get rid of that stigmatism so bad, you know, so they just really like extra hate it. Yeah, to show I, the world like, yeah, we hate. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm. Like, I'm okay with the, you know, less people being like, oh, it's okay to be a Nazi. <laughs> it's okay to be a Nazi. <laughs> why, 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 in, uh, why are there Nazis in America? Why would there? Uh, well, no, there shouldn't be any Nazis in America because that's like, what? they're not even Nazis. They don't even know what a real Nazi is. Like, that's not even, nowadays they just, I don't know. They're not even German from German descent. Most people call themselves Nazis nowadays. No, no, they're just white supremacists. <laughs> they're just white supremacists. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's not even, like, you're not even... Anyway. <laughs> and when you look at some of the white supremacists, it's like... Like, you're, like, from Kentucky and have one tooth, okay? Right. You <laughs> think you're the master race? <laughs> sure. Ooh, okay. Ooh. We're, in, we're in for a bad one then. <laughs> <It's> like, shit. <laughs> I thought it was bad now. Right? If you're the master race, ooh, I don't want to see what the the not master race is. Anyway. Oh, it, <laughs> what, is, what is this drink? Is it Jeepers Creepers? Jeepison? Oh. Jeepison? Is that like a knockoff Jameson? Jeepers? No, no, no. That's Jepson's Malort. 
Jepson's Milord. Milord. What is it? Let me see. So, Jepson's oh. Milord. I've never seen. What is it? Let me see if I can guess what it is. Oh, God. <clears throat> it smells like nothing. Is that piss? No. It's piss. <laughs> Jepson's. What is Jepson's? I don't. Jeez, let me see how much alcohol it has. I'm it's only seventy. Out. It's only seventy proof. Oh wow! Oh, it is seventy. Ooh, okay. Like, it's. I don't know. It's really. You'll find out after the show. <laughs> well, because it's bonus content, I've been having people do shots of it. So. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm I I don't you know what I really can't I know my liquor because <clears throat> I, I, I'm a drinker I'm alcohol. I mean it's technically like drinking it's technically a schnapps is it a schnapps it's a schnapps I I don't know it doesn't it could be a schnapps oh no it's it a ca- schnapps it smells a little uh, herby a little spirity yeah it is a Swedish schnapps I I just not even it has a little fennel in it <laughs> like a little fennel in it. This is not Swedish. It says, oh, my lord. Okay, it could be the... With the it's been in Chicago, do. but... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. It's, it's a Chicago thing, but it is a Swedish liqueur. Huh. Interesting. What did it you is know about this? About a year or so back, uh, Megan Mistakes came and did the show, and she lived in Chicago for six months, and when she found out I'm from Chicago, she brought a bottle, and it's become a bit ever since. Really? So it's like a Chicago thing? It's a Chicago bar thing. Oh. I promise you, it's not good. Oh, <laughs> that's why we do it. As bo- oh. That's why we do it as bonus content because it's not good. I'm already hung over today. I'm probably gonna throw up on my white bodysuit. <laughs> I, I mean, that will be. <laughs> I'm already like, ooh. Don't worry, we'll get enough tequila in you that you'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine, you know. I don't know. I, and the more tequila I get in me, I just want to up chuck it back in my cup here. We can always pause if you need to vomit. <laughs> I'll just vomit. <laughs> you would not be the first guest to puke in their cup. Really? Yeah. 2016, we had a guest. Like, this is in the audio only days. Who's just like, can we pause for a second? I'm like, sure. And then just pukes in his cup. Oh, my God. How much did he drink? He tried to keep up with me. <laughs> That's kind of hard. Yeah. He was like, we we're drinking like 100 proof bourbon. And oh, he, fuck. He tried to keep up with me. Oh, it wasn't Jack, was it? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is. 2016. Okay, okay. This was a, a writer. Man, I got pretty sloshed on your birthday. Uh, everyone. I, was, I don't even remember saying goodbye to you. I don't even know where I went or where I wandered off to. Like, you weren't even concerned, though. <laughs> I just disappeared. I could be like wandering the streets somewhere. I don't know where I ended up after that. I'm I, like, eh. I just remember I was out back with you, and then I just it was a blur. Yeah, well, most of that. I party was I don't a, I don't remember I literally don't remember what happened after most of that party was a bit of a blur for me too like, <laughs> literally uh a newer performer who RSVP'd to the party who I was talking about come and do the show was just like hey did you make it to my party she's like yeah you said hello to me I'm like, oh, like <laughs> oh, whoops wow. my bad whoops <laughs> whoops <laughs> whoops <laughs> yeah I just remember seeing you and telling you happy birthday and then we were smoking cigars out back, and then it just disappeared in my memory. Like, oh, I don't yeah. know what happened after that. I don't know how. There was so much drinking. There. Obviously, somebody's driving me home. I think he drove me home, so. Yeah, because Tony and Jack were both with you. Yeah, so I, I knew it was safe. I don't know, unless you just like, oh, let that bitch go. <laughs> <laughs> the, Obviously, you got home. You're here now. Morning. <laughs> we'll collect the bitch in the morning. <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was a super, super duper drunk night, because a handful of us ended up back here to like oh, six, really? 6 o'clock in the fucking oh, morning. Shit. Uh, Sounds like a fun night. It was, yeah, it was a fun night. It was a fun night. Yeah, it was a fun night. I don't know what I did after. I I, I can't tell you. I, I hooked up with someone I wasn't expecting to hook up with. Oh, you got some birthday sex. I got some birthday birthday sex. sex. Birthday sex. Uh, uh. I invite I invited a handful of people like you know to you know potentially get that birthday sex in. And the person <laughs> I hooked up with was not the person. One of the people I invited for that. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, or it was not. Just like, yeah, it was, it was, or no. It was fine. <laughs> or not. <laughs> It was fine. It was fine? What does that mean? It was fine. Well, because the problem is when I'm drunk, I have problems popping. Oh, yeah. Poor girl. So, yeah, it was just kind of like. Poor guy, whatever. <laughs> girl, girl. <laughs> girl, okay. <laughs> Nowadays, you can't say shit. Because <laughs> people are like, eh, how do you know it was yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I'm just assuming. You're assuming my sexual. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I am. Yeah, feel free to assume I'm just a heterosexual male. Okay, Whew. 
Good thing we got that out the way. Yeah, I did not drink that much. You came out of the closet. <laughs> Look, I'm just a heterosexual male. <laughs> wow, okay, wow. Yeah, no, no. Thanks for coming forward with that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yes, breaking news, I'm a heterosexual male. <laughs> breaking fucking news. Wow, thank you so much for your honesty. I know. <laughs> <laughs> was it hard telling me that? <laughs> it, was, it was traumatic for me. I, I think I, I need to talk to my therapist about it. That I, <laughs> I came out on the internet. You were born that way? I, I'm pretty sure I was. <laughs> pretty sure I was. <laughs> I, legitimately, life might be a lot easier if I wasn't like attracted to women. <laughs> right. <laughs> or yeah, I, gays are hoes, I heard. They really like to... Well, I'm just sorry if I was asexual. No, they like they like this always mutual. They always like to fuck. Because sometimes you be like a straight male, and sometimes people are like, yeah, no, or they like more. But guys are like, fuck yeah, let's just all fuck each other. And like it's okay. Well, yeah. Could you imagine like both parties have male sex drive? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I'm like, ah, so it's gotta be great if you're you're a gay guy because you're always just getting sausage. But uh, I mean, I, I made this joke before, and I'm amazed I've never caught shit for it. It was just like. I'm amazed gay men get anything fucking done because you have two dudes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, That's true. <laughs> do you want to go out to brunch? No, we can just fuck. Let's <laughs> fuck. Yeah. But then I always wonder what if you don't like getting pounded in the butt? And then, so I have I actually have this, this, these really good close friends of mine. And I'm like, I'm gonna name names, but I'm gonna tell their story. So they've been together, they're a couple, but they have this problem. They were telling me the other day that, so one does not like to get. Butt pounded, and one wants to pound the butt, and he's tired of always getting butt pounded. He's like, I don't always want to be the butt pound. I, I don't want to always be the butt poundy. I want a butt poundy. He was like, Well, I don't like that. So I'm like, Well, that's a problem. Well, yeah, it sounds like y'all should break up. <laughs> you have to find somebody that mutually likes the butt. Well, pound, I mean, no matter no matter the relationship, no matter what type of relationship, you got to find people you're sexually compatible with. Right, but that's like a hard one though, because if you're always like, you know, I don't know. I I, I, have, some gay, I have some gay friends who are like. Oh, I only want a bottom. I only so like they're out there. Is that how that works? I'm assuming. I mean, the, <laughs> after anecdotal evidence from my from my friend who's like, I only want a bottom. Yeah, I, they must exist. So they they don't want to get butt pounded themselves. They just want to be the butt poundy. That's kind of selfish. So is that's it? what it well, is. No, no. So I mean, the male, the, the male G spots in the asshole. The, like the the prostate. The, that's why, like, you know. <laughs> I am. <laughs> That's why you can milk the prostate with the fucking fingers and shit. I haven't tried that. I should try it. I'm going to milk your prostate. Come here. Let me do it right now. Come no, on. <laughs> we're not that kind of show. We're not that kind of show. I knew he would not give in to that. That's why I said that. There's no way. He's going to let me milk his prostate <laughs> on the show. <laughs> For sure. I, I've never done it. I have digestive problems. I want nothing in there. <laughs> that sounds like a mess. <laughs> like... I'd be like one of those cows or the hippos that poop and then fling their tails yeah. up. <laughs> like the, there's one thing to put a towel under your ass for period sex. There's a whole other thing what's going to happen if someone tries to put a finger in me. It's going to be like the opening to the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, God. Oh, I drink to that one. <laughs> I'm going to be like, next thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you'll get that Texas tea. <laughs> Couple decker tips takes the tea. Yeah, like there ain't enough towels that are gonna. You know, come. <laughs> I would ruin some beds. Don't do it. <laughs> mud wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> mud wrestling. It'll be like what those mud hippies look like at Woodstock '99. <laughs> I love that you're old enough that we both get that reference. <laughs> oh my I god! Get the, these new performers are like, what do you mean Woodstock '99 covered in mud? Right. Like all uh, you can see is like their white eyes, <laughs> just like their teeth. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, don't uh, put fingers in me. Please, just don't. No? No. Yeah. No. Digest, no. 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 Digestive problems. Like, this is what we're talking about the whole time. Like, it I'll would make be, both you guys' prostate right now. <laughs> the amount of people that are on the internet. going to see in their face. <laughs> the amount of people on the internet who are like, what, they're passing on that? I would pay so much money. Right? <laughs> like, I'll pay money not to do that. Leave me alone. Do you need more tequila? Like, you know, <laughs> Here, let me just get you drunk so I don't try to milk my prostate. Oh, you might try to milk them more. Yeah, well, I really don't need you <laughs> drunkenly trying to milk my prostate. That would. That sounds painful. Yeah, it sounds really bad. I don't even know like, where to find that. Right. Even I'm like, yeah, you have big this? nails right now. <laughs> no, I actually took them off. Look. I mean, that's that's big enough to, that would be a problem inside me. That would be inside of you? Yeah. I think that would be a problem inside but me. But they're real. My real nails, so they wouldn't get lost inside of you. That's a plus. <laughs> That's a definite plus. They but wouldn't just come off and 
<clears throat> I actually lost my nail inside a girl's pussy one time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like doing a girl girl scene. I was like finger banging her. And I, you know, I, I, she was like doing it really well. And I said, girl, you don't want me to finger bang you because I got these. And she's like, ah. Oh. So then I was like, yeah, come here. So then I lost my, my middle finger nail inside her pussy. And um, did I, you ever find it? I don't know. I might still be in there to this day. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, I feel bad. Like no, no. the next two bangs are just like, what the fuck's that? <laughs> like, is that a baby grabbing at me? <laughs> like, why did my dick get scratched? <laughs> it's just scratching fuck? me in there. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Well, it's Nina. Nina Elsa, like, I mean, that would definitely be worse to get out of than a makeup sponge. Like, oh, I, those are horrible. I hate those things. Ugh. That's like the worst. Like, you have to like sit there and just like press it out and like rinse it with a douche and press it. And, it's like basically give birth to a makeup sponge. <laughs> it's like, ah, pff, ah. <laughs> I hate those. Like, I just try to get them out of me. And like, oh, so people don't know probably. So when I first, I mean, like about the makeup sponge thing. So, you know, a viewer, so I'm going to tell the behind story. So when I first got into porn, I was in my per- on my period and I, I told my uh my agent, I was like, well, I can't shoot today because I'm on my period. And like, well, porn doesn't stop for a period. You take a sponge and you put it in cold water. You freeze your uterus and you shove it up there. And I'm like, you do what? <laughs> Get yourself some weight sponges. <laughs> and I didn't know about this until like I got into porn. So, yeah, when we shoot porn, we're still on a period. We just put wedge sponges up in there. I don't know if you heard about this in the last couple of days on you know industry Twitter. Some male talent, like some new male talent, was demanding hazard pay to you know, do a scene with someone on their period. See, this is exactly why I got out of porn. Rest my case, bro. What the fuck is this shit nowadays? What the fuck is that? What the, what is that? Ha- hazard pay? How? We're all tested. And if it's such a hazard, maybe you shouldn't put your pee in anything then. Jesus fucking Christ. What is wrong with these performers nowadays? I know. I was just like, <laughs> fucking A. I've never been a performer a day in my life. Like, period sex has never stopped me never, once. Never stopped anybody in, in porn. Yeah. Like, it's just professional. Like, yeah. It's like life goes on. You shove it, so you clean it out, and push up there. I mean, it's, it's kind of uncomfortable. Oh, I'm yeah, sure it's, it's a, uncomfortable for the guy, too. Right? I think. You, you, you fuck girls with sponges? No, no, no. I, I just let them bleed. You, yeah, you like it? You got your blood wings? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. Nice I am, slippy slidey. I am on record. Shoo. I am on record multiple times being like, wow. I feel like a man when I'm covered from here to fucking here with fucking blood when I pull out. Like, like the hippies. And, um, uh, uh, Woodstock, but just red. It's, it's much more barbarian. Just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, That's right. That's a man. Like shit. grabbing her hair. With their bloody hand. That's so, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I have a good time with it. I've never had any complaints. Like, See, you fuck me more on my period. He's like, no, you yeah, need period. Eh. I sometimes he has. I've like, I was like, I was sometimes it's like really horny on my period. So then I'm like, I don't think I'm bleeding that much anymore. And he puts it in the sweat. <laughs> Whoopsie. I guess I'm bleeding more than I thought. <laughs> Just keep going. Blood is lube. Blood is lube. Oh, yeah. well, y'all, <laughs> Blood is lube. Y'all are always so horny on it, and it's yeah. supposed to help relieve cramps. So. It does. It feels better on it, and like it does help relieve cramps. So, yeah. Blood is lube, man. Oh yeah, no. I hope I, my period sucks. Oh yeah, no. I'm I'm about that life. <laughs> I'm about that. I have an ex girlfriend who I hooked up with years after the fact, and like she's like, "You're the only person I ever let fuck on my period." Like I just feel so like, like nah, girl. Let's do this. <laughs> No, okay, let me get in there. Let me get in there. Give me that juicy bloody. Oh, yeah, I like it rare. Because <laughs> we hadn't hooked up in years, and like we go to hook up, and she's like, I'm on my period. I'm like, you know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're Is that only- like your little thing? Is that like your little weird fetish? It's not a fetish. I'm just like, I am willing. I'm like the fucking post office. The rain, sleet, shine. I'm <laughs> delivering. I'm, I'm delivering. Fucking, I'm get delivering her that get package. Get done. <laughs> Delivering that package. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Sometimes game is called on a count of whiskey, but most of the time, <laughs> I would say <laughs> oh, my butt is still sweaty. <sighs> yeah, there, there's definitely been some times where it's just like much like I'm ever too. It's just like after a while, it's just like yeah, I'm not finishing. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like you just gotta you know call a loss and throw in the flag. Say, you know what? It's not. I don't even consider that a loss. It's like I was happy to be in the game. I yeah, was, I was, I was, I was like, happy. To be like, like I was happy to be in the game. I was there. I was this close. Didn't quite make it to the finish line, but I still enjoyed it. And yeah, <laughs> I hopefully, think it was a great game, and hopefully, we can go again sometime. Right? Like, hopefully, she had a good time, and like, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It was just like 
<laughs> happy to be in the game. This is not you know who I thought I was going to be playing against tonight. <laughs> Like after a boxing match yeah, just, or a basketball. <laughs> yeah, like this isn't who I thought I was going one on one with tonight. <laughs> uh, I think I legit. I invited like three or four girls who were like on the short list of like, yeah, I could probably hook up yeah, tonight. Yeah. And like none of them didn't just none of it panned out. My friend I was trying to, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> but she never made it out. Oh yeah, she was. She actually she might have been on the list. She actually. was actually. She did. She come out? No, she didn't come out. But oh, okay. Right. She was on the one of the people on the short list. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was like, can we say? Oh, she can bleep it out, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one who edits this. Okay. <laughs> if not, just leave it in. Oh. I'm sure she doesn't care. Oh, yeah. Well, it's nice to know that she's still DTF. So <laughs> if she's well, now, you know. <laughs> God damn it! I've been trying to bang her for a while. Right. I banged her before. She's well, great. Uh, way, way to rub it in, you know. Way to rub it in. <laughs> she's but she's like, oh. Well, the like. Her and I have had a flirtatious thing for fucking years. Well, you just need to get that energy out already. Well, she has to be in the same physical space as me. <laughs> that's a problem. Right? That's a, yeah, that's like, always, that's always was, a downer. Like, we were supposed to hang out, and then she's just, you know, she didn't show my birthday. And then we were supposed to hang out, and, like, you know, she did her own, you know, she, she's a free spirit. She is. She is, kind of, yeah. She's just like, there's one thing, and she's like, oh, now I want to do this. Or now, like, yeah. She's... And then she was supposed to come to the show, and then she just left town. <laughs> <laughs> Like the day she was supposed to do the show, she's like, oh, I'm moving out of town. I'm like, the fuck? Why'd you schedule the show on the day? <laughs> oh, man. Damn, I'm sorry. Yeah, she does, you know, bless her heart. She doesn't mean, she doesn't. No, no, I don't, I don't take it personally. Does, you know. I, I still plan to have a very intense orgasm with her one of these days. <laughs> you can tell her that. <laughs> I will let her know. I will let her. God damn it, you flaked on his show, but. No, no, my birthday is more, my birthday is yeah. more important than flaking on the show. It's very, what's this? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she definitely 100 percent was on the short list of people I was you know, like, oh, this is someone who I could hook up with tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, she's very hook upable. Well, <clears throat> way to make me feel special. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta get her on the show though. But she's she's back in town. She's just not living in the LA area, but she's back in the yeah. California area. Oh, I know, I know. I know. I mean, I know where she's at. I'm not sure. Like, I'm, I know where she's at. <laughs> not, I mean, not that, not like that. I know, you know, I know her, where her general vicinity <laughs> is. Her general vicinity, her whereabouts. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not stalking her. She's not stalking, no. <laughs> I know where her general vicinity is. You know, she is one of my favorite people, and I'd like, you know, obviously like to just hang out with her. Yeah. And, and intense orgasm, but. <laughs> <laughs> and intense, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my I mean, I don't think this is a state secret on her part either. Like, no, no. I, 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 I was pretty, like, yeah, well, I don't think it's like a big secret. Oh. I, I don't think she, she'd be surprised. Like, oh, Matt wants to. Oh, Matt, my God. Matt wants to fuck I me? I would have never. Wow. Wow. He's a straight man. And he wants to fu- So many things that people found out about you. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's not even the. It's mind blowing. It's not even the. He's a straight man. He wants to fuck me. It's, yo, know, we do it like. There's not like a real like. History, but we did hang out a yeah, bunch. Yeah, there's just like, you know, just there, cool there's attention. definitely there's definitely sexual tension. You're like, hey, maybe that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. There, there's definitely some sexual tension. Try it out. Yo, years ago we used to hang out a bunch. So, oh really? Well, like like the well, I'm I'm trying to phrase it so I don't just out who I'm talking about. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, we had, we hung out a fair amount. Oh, that's so. Yeah. Yeah. And it just never you know, came to fruition. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Well, well maybe it will one day. Um, yeah, keep manifesting. Uh, it, it's keep manifesting not, the booty. <laughs> it's not like it's on a fucking vision board. Like it should be. Her her spread open fucking cheeks just <laughs> on a vision board. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is some weird like fanboy energy oh, right there. It's like, like <laughs> like no, this is someone I know in real life and I, I would I'm sure there's a lot out there though that are like that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Weird fanboys like that? Oh, yeah, for sure. I've had some weird ones. One of Biocon's weird shit, literally. <laughs> like what? Like what? Like shit, literally. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, <clears throat> I'm not doing that. Or with spit. I'm like, what are they trying to do? Like clone me? Take my DNA? What are you going to do with my spit? Are you going to create a, your own Nina? Like, Maybe they're just going to jerk off with it. Oh, <laughs> like put it just in a bottle. <laughs> They're just like, like this, this isn't close as well, this is as close as an NL blowjob as they're ever gonna get. So 
<laughs> That's maybe yeah. Okay. I mean, it could have been my cat spit for all they know. Like I used don't to- lie. To- <laughs> I was living with my cat poo in and send it to them. And I was like, yeah, I know. I That'd be like, so weird if people <laughs> wanted you and you said cat poop and they're just like, Nina poops like a cat. It's so weird. <laughs> why, is there, why is there sand in it? Why is there sand in little cat? <laughs> why is the kitty little kernel stuck to it? Nina needs to shave. There's hair in this. <laughs> it's just a little bit like a tuna. <laughs> Meow makes tuna. <laughs> Well, and then they'll know it's not you then because you don't eat fish. Duh. No brainer. <laughs> Gave myself away. Right. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> fucked up, Nina. You're fucked it. up. Fuck. You're fucked up. Well, they already paid for it, so <laughs> just kidding. Never did that. I don't know if I should believe you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not anyone buying your products, so. Yeah, you, you never asked me, I, hey, I, Nina, can you bring me some poo? <laughs> never yeah, can you come do the show and just bring me a uh, giant, just really steaming, fresh, a really fresh, like after a night of partying shit? <laughs> That's so gross. What is wrong with people? I don't know. I, I more and more I exist on the internet. More and more, it's just like, do you have no common sense? It just gets worse and worse. I feel like it just. I don't know. Like the, an interaction I saw today on social media, like in a post I was tagged in. You were tagged in that post. That's pretty disturbing in the first place. Ouch. <laughs> no, Ouch. no, let me tell. No, I mean, whatever. Tell me the story. This dude, like, flat out says to the performer whose post it was, like, oh, you know, this X scene was so hot. And she has been on her social media being like, I hated that scene. I want nothing to do with yeah. it. Please never view it. Yeah. After that tweet, like, it's like, oh, that scene was so hot. <laughs> what t- and she's like, <laughs> Bro, I hated every second of that. And he, his response to her saying, I hated every second of that is, yo, how much to fly you out to film a scene? Oh, my me? God. And it's like, just, bro, like, are you stupid? And like, I, I just responded with, like, yo, pro tip, bro. <laughs> pro tip. <laughs> yo, reminding someone of their trauma isn't exactly an aphrodisiac for anyone. Absolutely not. Absolutely not at all. Yeah, there's been many scenes that I hate it, but some that I loved. But there are some... Wait, it's work. Yeah, it's work. Yeah, yeah everything's like it's, it's it's really work. Like we're a sex athletes. You know? Yeah, I'm an ex. I'm a retired sex athlete. I mean, you're still on the OF. You're still you know, yeah, yeah. I'm still on the OF. You're a high rated on the OF. You're I'm a high a ranked amateur in the OF. <laughs> a high ranked amateur at this point. <laughs> yeah, I am. I mean, I'm glad to be. I'm you're out here doing I'm, exhibition I'm, porn. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul of porn. That's done. No, it didn't happen. Well, yeah, I mean, it's done. yeah, it didn't happen. It's like they pulled the plug on it. No, it's coming back. It's just waiting for Mike Tyson's. You, you really You're like? No, no, it's coming. It's, I don't think it's coming back. But we have this. Oh, movie. there's too much money think, involved for it to not come back. Oh, I don't know. I think it's just. I don't think they want to risk it. With I want to wash Mike Tyson. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, Sorry, I hate to the bear, but you're like, no, no, it's coming back. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't even tell you. It's it's not. Coming. I want I. I want to watch Mike Tyson I, I but j- punch Jake Paul as in the face much, I, much more than I want to fuck your friend. I, oh, okay, that's pretty. That's that's a pretty strong feeling right there. It is. I mean, I'm lying, but it, no, I'm, I, I'm lying. No, me, me too. Because I really don't. I just I'm not a big Jake Paul fan. I'm, oh, not, I'm not either. I just feel like he's just so overrated, and he bought everything, paid everything off, and I just I I don't know. What I can say on air, or I should say, no. because he might come and give me death threats. Just <laughs> call me out. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think Jake Paul's going to try to box you. I mean, I'll box. Mm-hmm. Try to get a finger in him. <laughs> a focus <milk is> prostate. <laughs> Make him scream like a little bitch. <laughs> milk Jake Paul's prostate. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> anything but that. That was horrible. Uh, yeah, that's not mm-hmm. box of shit is more appealing than that idea. Yeah, I know shit was more exciting than that. <laughs> oh man, I almost drank all of this. Is pretty. Yeah, it's good. I don't know who you. But I was drinking last night. I was just drinking everything I find last night. Oh, it was really bad. Yeah. What is this here? It's like you put your finger in here. Oh, you cut cigars with it. It's a oh, cigar. I thought it's like a finger guillotine or something. <laughs> What kind of crazy that, person that pissed you, you off on your show? <laughs> or PP get a guillotine? No, no, we we are not out here doing circumcisions on air. <laughs> is that not what it is? You're circumcising like no, okay. I'm 
All right. I, I, I don't think talent that would fit in there would satisfy anyone. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. Uh. That'd be a sad day for everyone <laughs> performing. <laughs> That'd be easy work right there. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. Sad day at the office. A sad day at the office. What's a good place to eat around here? <laughs> he is not already. Just, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> he's just like, cool, on podcast. <laughs> Time to eat. Wait, no, wait, wait. Just say anything good around here? Oh, yeah. Once want? again, Hollywood. There's plenty of things to eat. Oh, well, in Simi Valley, there's a lot of good things to eat. I believe you. That, that voice did not convince me. <laughs> that voice did not convince me at all. Anymore. It is. It's a fucking amazing place. I love it. So tell me what's good. What are you looking for? I don't know. What is your favorite? Well, there's a lot of amazing Thai food. Okay. Um. You don't sound so convinced about <laughs> the Thai food. <laughs> like, nah, nah. I'm looking for a place where you can drink and they can go food. And- so there's a bar over on Coenga called Elbow Room that has really good pizza. And- oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. Apparently, the guys from It's Always Sunny rated it one of the really? best places to drink whiskey in L.A. Oh, okay, that sounds like my my... My neck of the alley, neck, neck of the woods. No, it's, a, <laughs> what would it's you a good say? spot. Like they have giant slices of New York style for like five bucks. It's oh, I'm in there like swimwear. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good spot. It's a good Let's spot. go, guys. <laughs> Podcast over. God. <laughs> Can I go get that pizza, guys? Matt, it's been fun. <laughs> Losing go. in a couple of years. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, my Enough God. of your bullshit. <laughs> Came here. I did. I'm here to do what I did. I did. I did. I drank. I got drunk. Then I got the hunger munchies. So I gotta go eat pizza now. <laughs> What's that sticker? That little sticker. What is that? Oh, it's a, oh. Some performers brand. Stuff. Oh, mental health matters. Mental health matters, guys. It's before. <laughs> it's a performers brand. You really have to have strong mental health to be a performer. That's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because you have people trying to hire you on IG with, uh, exactly. right after tell you about. It. I love that traumatic scene yeah. you did. I'm gonna just lose my shit. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's just like, what kind of scene was it? Or what I'm trying to picture in my head, like trying to visit. visit. I guess it was a rough cream pie scene. Rough cream pie. Yeah. Just, oh, cream pie, you. I, I mean, I I didn't watch the scene. I don't know if she. Yeah, she was just talking about socials. She, like sperm welled her or something. <laughs> I don't fucking know. All I know is she was unhappy with it, and yeah. you know, yeah. voiced verbally voiced it like, "Hey, this was one of the worst." But like she was like a month in, and yeah. So she, like, I, I'm assuming something like unsavory happened. Where unsavory you know, <laughs> it was like savory for the palate. <laughs> what, you know how it can possibly be for someone who's yeah. new who doesn't know any better. And know. oh yeah, yeah. So she was like a month in and like something, I, I don't know the deets, but yeah, was, it, it wasn't good. <laughs> it was not good. And, you know, she sad. verbally said it wasn't good. And then like to respond with like, yo, let's film something together. Like some random dude. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? She's not just, yeah. Like, <sighs> yeah, I, I, I did a post on my IG one time and it was a good friend of mine, um, yeah, he passed. Um, rest in peace. So I and I I posted a picture of me and him, and then some guy goes, he's probably somewhere, not in America, <laughs> sitting somewhere. He's like, so hot, BB. <laughs> Check DM, baby. Fire, <laughs> sweetheart, love. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm posting a picture of my dead friend. Nice titties, baby. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I'm like, I'm like, do you even like read what I'm? <clears throat> well, they're just like you know. He, he's dead. He can't appreciate them. So, or he's like, "Oh, it's a new sex scene." I'm like, "No, he's dead. I'm glad he's dead." Like, Maybe the, you know there was a language disconnect, and they thought you fucked him to death. I <laughs> know. You know why are you out here fucking people to death? God damn it! I'm breaking dicks and fucking people to death. I mean, that's how they die, right? They bleed up from their dick. <laughs> yeah, God, it's got to be painful. Not how I want to go. <sighs> well, you know, at least you did doing what you love. Getting my dick broken is not what I love. <laughs> I've never done that, but I could tell well, the you the process is... of getting your dick broke was probably up until no, you no, <laughs> no. <laughs> At the point where I get my no. dick broken, nope, no. nope. <laughs> I have never fucked anyone in my life that was just like, yeah, that would have been worth getting my dick broken. <laughs> over. 
not a single person in this world. Damn. Like I have made love to people with eye contact and, <laughs> and it meant something. <laughs> and that's still when that that's still when oh worth my getting my dick broken over. <laughs> there has never been vaginal intercourse in my life that was worth getting my dick broken over. Well, maybe you just never had it that good. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> just to all my partners out there, <laughs> Nina L. just said, yeah. y'all weren't that good. You didn't break a stick, girls. <laughs> Nina L. just told all of you. I did not. You think he's put words in my mouth? In I, my mouth. Read through your nose. <laughs> I can't. My nose is clogged. <laughs> Poor Tony. <laughs> I know, right? Poor Tony. Hi. Bless his heart. I, I love him. I was just, you he, know. He gets my love, though. I was just interpreting what you were saying. I was inferring that you were just saying that all my former lovers weren't good enough. I didn't. I just, well. <laughs> that wasn't a no. Mental health matters. <laughs> mental health matters, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Are you saying all everyone who's ever fucked me is mentally ill? <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to attach. We're going to cut it right here, guys. Okay? It's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> That is just putting words in my mouth. Words when I'm hungover and hungry, and he's just like, like, like mouth putting shit in my mouth. <laughs> it's just not. This is just, just a couple of people just gonna be angry DMs. Like, so what? I fucked him. What? <laughs> you you put shit in Nino's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I fucked him. <laughs> it's not anything we know. It's just going way down a rabbit hole here, people. <laughs> You've done this show before. I, I was more coherent. Okay. Man, that sounds like a Nina problem. No, no, no. Nina problem. <laughs> that should be like a slogan. <laughs> that sounds like a Nina problem. Like, I didn't tell you to go out and drink last night. <laughs> well, you basically did. I'm like, you're like, okay, we can do the show the next day. I'm like, okay, cool. So, oh, yeah. Do you know how bad your night would have been if you had come and done the show before the party? <laughs> oh, my God. Because that was the other plan. <laughs> Slamburger, Schlamburger. <laughs> Yeah, you would have showed up to your friend's party like, hey. Hi. <laughs> started eating her taco. Actually, I did. I just showed up and started eating a taco out of her plate, and I was already a little schlamburgered when I got there. So Yeah, I feel like it would have been much worse if you were here first. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if you even would have made it over there, honestly. I do. Well, I would have felt bad if you had cost your, your friend's birthday. And she's very sensitive. She gets very like, oh, you don't love me. And then even told her, I was like, hey, I have a radio show. We'll catch up this weekend. You're yeah, really – Going to have a podcast, do a podcast instead of coming to my. You know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell that. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm chill about such things. Yeah, you're like, oh, so that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, luckily, it's no big deal to push it back a day in this in this situation. I appreciate I, you. I, I don't want other people to think like, oh, I can just push back whenever. Like, normally, I'm booked as fuck. Oh, he's very, very, very busy book man. Yeah. And you said, yeah, and you said earlier, like, this might come, take a while to come up because I got shit for days, okay? I got a bunch of hoes I got to edit and put on here. I do. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Actually, the reason we were able to push this to today is, like, I've, put, I've started only booking one episode a week to try to catch up with the amount of shit that's in the can. Oh, damn. You got shit in the can? I do. Who sent that to you? It's my own shit. <laughs> I recorded it myself. <laughs> shit. Recorded it myself now. Oh, shit in the can. Um, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of content. Sam, I wish I had that much content. I'm willing to laugh. I'm really what, what, why are you slacking? Why are you slacking? Because I'm drinking. Like tomorrow, I'm not going to feel like it again because I'm going to be hungover. <laughs> no, today, I was hungover and I'm here. Like, I don't have time for that shit. God damn! Like I don't see. I should just like do that, and I don't have to sit around and drink. Then I'd be like constantly like having content, Isn't like that you do. Isn't That's that... why you call your show, and now we drink. You're like, Fuck, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was sitting around, and fucking drink, and I record this shit. Yeah, I figured, I, write, I figured out a way to write. I figured out a way to write off my genius. Alco- I figured out a way to write off my alcohol on my taxes. Fucking genius, bro! Like, like this is a business expense. Business expense, guys. Fucking best ever, bro. Like, you're a fucking genius. Can I just say that? You can. I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> fucking genius. I'm going to sit around and talk to hot chicks and get paid to drink. That's fucking... Ugh. <laughs> like, why did I not come up with this? <laughs> I don't know. And it's just called, and now we drink. Yeah. We drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, when I started this, I had performers as a co-host. Like I had performer co-hosts. It was it wasn't just originally just me. Oh, they just fell out like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take a picture of us so we can post it. <laughs> Back there. <laughs> yeah, it was just like I'm trying to wrap this up. I want pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. No, I was like, I should post this on my social media. Well, yeah, it's like agree. the whole like table. What's going on? I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> like the whole setup. The whole and now we drink set. Yeah. yeah. And we're doing photo ops mid show. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> we can do what we want to do. I know it's my show. I mean, just, I'm being your guest, so if I want to take a photo and drink more, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you should. Those these are things you should do. <laughs> you should do that. You should do that. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Do- one more, uh, one more, uh, oh. Oh, oh, he, okay, now he's back to checking his internet. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, cheers. Oh, shit. Uh, 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 uh. on Nina. <laughs> what, what, uh? Mosul and Nina, you don't want me so much. Wait, 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 wait. I do. What? 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 <laughs> I do love you. I well, know, I no one said you didn't love me, Nina. <laughs> what is this? I'm really, like. <laughs> That's probably salt. <laughs> Oh. It might not be salt. <laughs> that's, <the> guest- <laughs> that's the guest chair. I don't monitor what exactly happens in the guest chair. I, I hate whatever's left there. There's Narcan in the fridge for a reason. <laughs> oh, I had the flies happy about it. That's why the fly I was just like hangs around the table, finds some kind of knickknacks. <laughs> I never oh. did, never did that. <laughs> I was <laughs> don't know what it is, Nina. I don't know. I love you, Matt. I oh, love you too. Boy. I love you too. Your fan base is gonna be like It's the guest chair. It's the guest chair. I don't fucking know. No, you got guillotines, you got packets, you got It's a cigar cutter. I smoke cigars. <laughs> it's a the accoutrements of what I smoke. Oh my god. Like mm. Why would I not have a cigar cutter? Oh, and we killed our buddy. We killed your co-host. I have never killed a co-host. <laughs> you just killed him. He was really thought he was doing like on the mic. He thought he was doing something. He has little earphones on. Both the real co-hosts of the show are alive and well, <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> I'm checked in with some of them in the Who was your co-host? Uh, when the show originally launched, Draven Star was my original co-host. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And her and I did the show for about a year, and then Annie Cruz was my co-host for about six months after Oh, I love her. Fucking Annie. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Annie. Annie, Annie fucking Cruz. Fucking Cruise. Annie Cruz. <laughs> What's up, fucking Annie? <laughs> How's she been? She's been doing, Annie's been doing well. Like, yeah. she, we keep talking about having her come and do the show again. And, like, it's been yeah, a while. Yeah, she should. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I haven't had a co-host since 2017. Oh, damn. Yeah. You're just, like, like free-balling it yourself. Oh, well, yeah. And, um, it's a lonesome. I'm on one hand, I miss having a co-host because, like, for someone like you, I don't need a co-host. But right. some people, you know, it's nice to have someone to bounce off of when they're not, yeah, not the best. Get it. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, when you, I get one word answer, like tag team them. Yeah, tag team them. <laughs> well, check it, check it, check it directly. Get, Let's begin. <laughs> unfortunately, you get some people, you know, that aren't used to doing a show like this, and then yeah. like, what do you mean he's not asking me how I got into the industry or what, how I came up with my stage name or how I lost yeah. my virginity? That's not really what, like, the show is just like us like, It's not. It's rambling. not. Because now we're drinking and we're just rambling. And it's just like us just. Hanging out in real life. Yeah, it's like like our, our viewers, I feel like they're just hanging out with us. Like, what that, we were doing. That is the goal. That, that, is, is, the, that is the goal. <laughs> that is the fucking goal. Like, they're right here, you know. That is absolutely and the goal. And they're the best because, like, they don't, we don't have to hear them chip in to like, their shit because we already got two to go back and forth. So. Exactly. So you can just listen. <laughs> but it, occasionally I get guests who are kind of blindsided when they don't realize when it's not going to be a yeah. you know a stereotypical interview, and when I had a co-host, it's like, well, me and the co-host can make this fucking happen. And yeah, when these days I just tell stories. Like you can tell the episodes where the guest isn't yeah you know, quite on the same wavelength because I just start telling stories. Right, right, right. It's just yeah, yeah. I thought maybe today was like one of those days you might have to start telling stories. I told a couple. <laughs> Shh, fuck you, man. <laughs> Like you. I mean, I did a good five minutes about wanting to fuck your friend. I mean, I guess she, our friend. She is my friend, too. She's our friend. I know. Ours. Say ours. 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 I mean, she's much better your friend than mine because I, I haven't seen her in a hot minute. It's true. She is, yeah. I must say. 
I'm a sure she is. I her mail comes to my house, so we're like that close friends. Yeah, <laughs> I only come to your house once every couple of years. No, so. her mail does. So uh, that's oh, that's yeah. like a whole different friend status. Right, right. That's like you, my friend, friend. Yeah. Like you, my bitch. <laughs> wow, that's endearing. I know. If you if I call you sweetheart, that's like condescending. Like okay, sweetheart. It's like saying yeah, like fuck you. It's okay, like bless sweetheart. your heart. Bless your. heart. I didn't say that earlier. <laughs> I just, I, that's oh no. <laughs> You can't call me out like that. I just uh, did. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just did. Just did, Nina. But bitch is endearing. Oh, I know. I know. Is it like, what's up, bitch? That means I love you. Yeah. Well, then. Bitch. And the amount of dudes out there that'll be like, I want to be Nina else, bitch. <laughs> I want to be Nina else, bitch. <laughs> oh, I could do a poll. I could do it. I bet we should do an online poll on your Instagram. How many dudes want to be Nina L's bitch? Except we can't say bitch, because then they'll block us. On IG, you can say bitch. No, you can't. You can't do shit on there. I had a picture of me and Rachel Cavalli in bikinis, fully bikinis, and a towel around us and cowboy hats, and they deleted my post. Oh, let, post. let me rephrase. I, As a cis white male, I can do that. <laughs> you can. Okay, maybe you should do that. I don't have a sex worker account, <laughs> so they let me. I, so, I post so stories confused. of profanity all the time. I can't. Nothing. Nothing. I, I even said one time I post my cat. I'm like, oh, my pussy's so pretty. And then they 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 deleted it. I'm like, I'm talking about my cat, you fucking perverts. <laughs> I got that shit. I'm like, this is horrible. Like, you can't. I can't do nothing on there. I'm like, I'm like, feel like I'm always like on egg- eggshells on Instagram. Well, it's the worst. It is the fucking worst. What do you think about the fact that Meta is like, we are officially allowing porn now? <laughs> yeah. Or, or Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, 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 okay, that's good. That's why, like, you know, I, I just, I don't know, I just can't get away from Instagram. Like, I should probably use Twitter. I don't really use it too much. But it, kinda, it's so fucking funny that, like, yeah, Twitter's but, always allowed porn, and they're like, we're officially well, allowed like, porn that's now. That's where everybody went to go post their, repost their scenes and post their porn. Yeah. So, but, so, if Meta owns Twitter and Instagram. But they what? don't, they don't. Elon owns Twitter. Oh, Okay. What's what's changing now? Are they not going to shadow ban fucking people on Twitter? Oh yeah, I'm shadow ban like a motherfucker. I know. It's- but you know what's funny? Because I have like 20 fake accounts that are like catfishing, and they're completely fine. They're not shadow ban, but I am. <laughs> One time I had this fan. I was dancing in a club, and I had this fan come in, and he's like, "Oh my god, you know, so good to finally meet you in person. Um, I'm I'm glad you enjoyed all the money that I've sent you." I'm like, "I didn't get once. <laughs> like, who are you?" <laughs> Because I didn't get any. And he looked at me like, I'm crazy. It's like, yeah, we've been chatting on the phone the whole time. I'm like, no, baby. What always blows my mind is, how do dudes this dumb have this much money? That's right. Oh, food for thought. Wow. I am not a genius, but I do not have tens of thousands of dollars to give to yeah. fucking anyone. <laughs> Let alone, <laughs> let alone some girl I've never been inside right. of. I never. And she's like a porn star, which is why she paid me attention when I'm six years old. And I mean, not to say six years old, but you know, I'm just. It, it, There's it, dudes of various ages. Like, it's yeah, not just various. like old, yeah. old dudes that fall for these scams. It's just like, how did someone this fucking dumb. Yeah. Have this much fucking money to just throw away. I actually had something scary that happened the other day. Um, somebody texted my phone and said, hey, Nina, what's up? And I'm like, I didn't answer. So and then and it was like from some email, like Hussein something. I'm like, I weird. They find your iMessage or some shit? I don't know. And then they started calling my phone. And I'm like, when they call like, like, like 20, 30, I freaked out. But like my security was with me. So I'm like. You answer the phone. And then he answered. He's like, uh, this is Nina L. Security. Um, why are you calling her number? How did you get this number? And they said, oh, she gave it to me on OnlyFans. I, no. <laughs> I'm just going to give you my number on OnlyFans? <clears throat> no, I'm pretty sure I did not do that. So it was just really weird. And then he just he hung up the How much phone. of a bender were you on? And I <laughs> I've been fucked up before, but I don't even like phone calls. So I'm not going to give you my number because I don't like talking on the phone. <laughs> like, unless it's like we're really like that cool. 
<clears throat> I don't I'm think I've like, ever had a phone conversation with you ever. No, I just like stare at my phone. No, we're cool. I know, but it's still like I, 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 I would. I, I would be afraid to call you now. I, I just. Yeah, I, I, I don't think. You, no, but I feel like if you call me, it's like okay, like there's really something you need to urgently talk to me right. about. Right. But there's some people I just call like it's worse when they just like Facetime you and you're just like, um, okay. And sometimes they don't even like look at you while they're FaceTime. They just like have there and they're like talking. I'm like, what the fuck? What are we this doing? This could have been here? speakerphone. I, I what the fuck? <laughs> like, like, or text me, like, let me decide how I'm going to answer you back or when I'm going to answer you back. Or, you know, what if I don't want to talk right now? Or, like, especially like with my work stuff and I'm with my kids or whatever, I really don't want to have to talk about that. Like, so I was like, you know, text me. Don't just, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to hear about your day. I don't, you know, don't. Call no, that, that, and... that's for sex panther. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They're minx. Minx is the new one. Okay. Sorry. Minx. I, I'm not up on the. You're not a minx. <laughs> not a minx. I should start a minx account. <laughs> you should start minxing. <laughs> I, minx. I, Our I, picture's going to go on minx. I mean, You're going to be a minx now. <laughs> though it would be hilarious for me to start a minx account, <laughs> I don't know. It'd be kind of depressing if like just no one reaches out. <laughs> I, t- <laughs> like, I have a minx account and just nobody ever hits it up. <laughs> like nobody wants to talk to Matt. <laughs> oh. I know. Oh, I see. I'm like Minx Matt. <laughs> Minx Matt here. I really, I actually, I should go start a Minx account just for the fucking social experiment of it. Yeah, <laughs> just see who the fuck would call me to bother me. Because. <laughs> <clears throat> I would just be horrible to people. Like it, I, I, I got in a fight with people. Oh no! I would be <laughs> like, I'm just like, <laughs> like if if my phone rang with like the mix number, I'd be like, "What the fuck yeah, do you I, want? Why fucking call? Me? Why are you calling me?" I even like that. I was like, "Oh, do you really? Uh, hello." Oh no! One my, time. My my whole thing would be, "Why are you calling me?" No, I can't book that person. <laughs> no, I'm not going to introduce <laughs> you to that person because half of my fucking social media is people being like, "Can you get this person on the show?" and like. I'll try. Don't. I'll try, yeah. I, I'm like, not, ooh, let me make that my life mission right now to get so-and-so on the show for you, Joe Schmo and I, Midwestia. I, I'm legitimately like, if people want to see people on the show, I will try. Like, right. But if you're going to just, every interaction you have with me on other people's life, like, it'd be like, when your episode airs, if people are in the comments section, be like, can you get some other girl on? Like, yeah. Eh, this is yeah. not the time or place for yeah, this. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of shitty. But, uh, it's kind of rude. But also, if like people call me like, so how do I get into the industry? I'm like, <laughs> mm. yeah, I hate that too. I used to have the agency, so he used to ask me that all the time. What happened to the agency, by the way? I really just, it was just really hard. And then I really can't deal with, I'm not a people person. But for someone who likes so many cats, you'd think you'd want to herd more cats. <laughs> yeah, but they shut up and they're cute and they, just love you and leave you alone. But these are just like, I had a girl call me one time, like three in the morning. She's like, um, do I need to bring an umbrella to set to my, my which I don't know. It's three in the morning. I, I got to get up for, get for school. And I, I, I can't, you know, it's just, <clears throat> or they wouldn't show up because it's just said because they, I don't know. I had some. Because your pimp hand was not strong enough. <laughs> no, I just got tired. My pimp hand just got tired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got old and tired. And I just, it really wasn't worth it anymore, especially like with with like the OnlyFans and stuff, and it's just, uh, yeah, it wasn't. I just got tired. I mean, the agency model at this point is a little rough. It is, it is, you know, and especially with the labor board uh, ruling against Motley about that agent, they're like, oh, agents can't take fees. Yeah, then what the fuck are we doing? Like, I'm just, like, going through this? Like, booking you for why? For commission only? It's, uh, uh, it's not really worth it. Because, like, it's already hard to make a living off of the 20% that you charge, 25%. You know, it's just. <sighs> yeah, it's not like we're, anyone in the industry is making fucking mainstream Hollywood money. Exactly. It's- and for a little bit that, like, especially the newer girls, when they come in, they're already not making that much. So you're just like collecting like my new, but by, by the time you pay, like even like your your website costs money, and then your your email like site, business site had cost money, and there's just so much like overhead. It's just not even the twenty bucks you collect. It's like what the fuck am I doing? And then I have a bitch call me at three in the morning asking for an umbrella. I'm like no, it's not. A bitch should have brought her own umbrella. A bitch should have asked me. <laughs> for like two dollars at fucking Walgreens. <laughs> Buy your own fucking umbrella. It's just like ridiculous stuff like that. I just couldn't. I just got tired of it. Yeah, I just 
became a hermit with my cats and started drinking a lot of tequila. <laughs> Did yeah. you feel bad about getting into the industry, uh, the agency biz? I I kind of did because I I bought it and then it's like you know when he was like when he first if you get like a new dog or something like oh it's a puppy and then they get in like oh shit and I shit is shitting all over my house eating its own puke chewing up my underwear and now I'm gonna walk this shit over it's like and then you know once the honeymoon is I was like oh fuck why the fuck did I do this shit I now I'm stuck with it so then I was like oh yeah I'm out <clears throat> so it just I don't know. yeah. I thought I could change the world. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be a female porn agent. I am going to save the world. I'm going to be mama to all these girls. And reality expectations did not. Yeah. It's like that season 500 days of summer. Like, you know, <laughs> what screen? Like, reality expectations. Uh, <laughs> wildly out of whack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Wildly out of whack. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I need more tequila now. <laughs> I need more tequila. Yeah. Um, Talking about the fucking agency, Matt. God Here damn. Here you go, honey bunch. I listen to our banter. <laughs> like, I had to deal with that shit too. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it. I had to deal with the. Oh. I had to deal with her ass being pissed off and slapping me around, coming home and slapping me around. <laughs> no, just kidding. You just had to hear my you know, banter about it and deal with me pissed off and irritated. And then he's like, I don't know why you do that. It's just easy. Just don't do it anymore. I'm like, all right, genius. It's not easy. Just don't do it anymore. <laughs> okay, I just won't do it anymore then. <laughs> Walk away from it. Yeah, but then you see, you know, there's so many other people like, you got your license and renew your license and stay on your LLC and stay. I mean, which you should have anyway. But like, you know, the business license is like, and the bond, you have to be bonded. Yep. And you have to pay. It's just like so much. It's not even worth it. Well, and you got to maintain a workers' comp. And that. And it's. Yeah, the amount of performers I talked to were like, by the way, your agent has to have, cover you in a worker's comp in case your are yeah, on set. That too. It's like, so many girls are like, what? Do you do? Like, rub your feet? Like, like, I don't know. And then when the girls come in, you need like a photographer to do a photo shoot and get them up in the way. It's just like so much stuff that's like, ah. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm already busy drinking <laughs> and playing with my cats. <laughs> don't have time for this shit. Plus, I like, go eat pizza. <laughs> The time versus money on it. Mm-hmm. What? Well, it's got littler and littler. And time just got more and more. Yeah, I feel like good. being an agent ten years ago would have been yeah pretty in the rad. glory days, like um, everything. When you're an agent, you have like big contract girls, and like, it was just like different. Now it's just like yeah, because yeah, I remember like, little companies, stray kittens, it's just like, <laughs> which I love, stray kittens. Well, and so many performers are like, I can just self-book these days. Why? Yeah, and then, what the fuck, you know, it's just so rude. And even, like, companies and producers, they'll, like, go and self-book, like, or hit up the girls, like, on Twitter or Instagram. And I'm like, okay, well, fuck me then, I guess, right? <laughs> or, like, you make the girls, and this happened a few times, like, I made them, and they started blowing up big, and then they just go off and leave you. Like, oh, what? <laughs> like, I put invest all this time, booked you all this shit, and now you're just, like... Take it off on me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, fuck I, you too, bitch. <laughs> I, I've watched that shit so many fucking times. Like, you know, because I, I got into the industry because of Burning Angel. And that happened to Joanna a bunch of times, yeah. too. It's just like there's a bunch of performers where, like, she really helped build their careers. Yeah, like, yeah, she did. And then they, I know. It's amazing what they're doing with the vitamin water. I know vitamin um, uh, um, Liquid death. Liquid death. Yeah. Liquid death. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> vitamin water. So by Coke. <laughs> by who? Coke. Oh. That's co- yeah. What is it? Coca-Cola owns vitamin water. Oh, ew. <laughs> Why are you shilling for... <laughs> no, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry I interrupted you so rudely. No, it's all good. It's all good. No, it was, it was just wild. To, like over the, over the years, it's just like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of people that, you know, really got their career started because of Burning Angel and then just, like, got too big for it. Yeah. I, I, but how can you be too big for Burning Angel? Like, they're a pretty freaking dope company. I love... Do I know in small hands? Like, they're just a dope couple. They are a dope company. Well, I think BA just, doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Gamma yeah. bought them. Really? Yeah, a couple of years back. Oh. I feel like I've been <laughs> Dude, what else happened? What else? Like, I've been gone for two years and everything's just like, what? What other porn gossip is there, Matt? Tell me more. Tell me more machismo. 
Like, what else has been going on? I really don't know. I just been so I just live in my little box over there and see me, and I just don't. I don't really even come around to many award shows anymore. I just, eh. So tell me. It's like you know, like high school. You knew, like tell me, like you know, kids. You like went to high school. Oh, this so this is what happened to jo- Joanne. This is what, like, oh really? Is that what happened? Like, and how's old buddy doing? <laughs> <laughs> and Ron Jeremy's in you know whatever the fuck Ron is. <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep again. <laughs> and not guilty on any counts by you know reason of inco- you know mental incompetence. Yeah, <laughs> I just beep. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Somebody talk. Who's that? That's me. That's me. You beefed. <laughs> Who beefed at me? I mean, and that's I was, was the, 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 Ron, kick name? the Ron situation is so wild because like, I mean, that was the worst kept secret in the industry. It was. It was. And like honestly, I was you know I I, I was faced with it myself, but you know I kind of just like eh. I'm kind of brushed off. I'm like, get off of me. <laughs> you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> like, it's not that hard to brush around Jeremy off. He yeah, falls asleep, asleep anyway. With yeah. A, but yeah. So <laughs> it wasn't a big task. So I was really harmed by it. But yeah, I see how that, that can happen, happen to many girls. You know? yeah, it's a horrible situation. It sucks that like there'll never be any real justice for it. No, there never will. No, that's why I was like, oh, I'm just not even going to say anything about it. That will happen to me. You know, we tried with me. I'm like, oh, well. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> it's just like it's pretty harmless. <laughs> Trying to think of what other gossip does Nia not know about hiding in scene of it. <laughs> tell me, tell me, <laughs> what else is going on? So, um, Gamma bought a lot of stuff. Right? Oh yeah, they've just bought everything. They're just like bought a lot of shit. Yeah, just everything. Like everything then, that was left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, everything that Mind Geek did not buy. <laughs> They bought so can't buy a month by just like bought everything that was left over. They bought that's <laughs> yeah, like two companies left. It's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's like can't buy a mind geek. <laughs> I don't know how anyone like makes it as a production company these days. That's what I'm saying. That's what for a second I tried. I thought about maybe just doing production, but I'm like, that's even more ridiculous than being an agent because the overhead's even way more. The overhead's way more, and like I know doing this. People just flake. They people, flake. Yeah, yeah, people flake all the fucking time. Yeah. I, I, that's the one thing I never understood. Like, when you're on set, you're getting paid. You're going to get good money. Plus, like, it kind of ruins your up. So just get this shit together. Nowadays, like, I feel like people just flake. Back in the day, we used to drink all night and party and then go on to set. And right. Rip it out. And then just, you know, now it's like, oh, I, I took too many Xanax the night before. And I just, like, my I had- puppy pissed on my shoe and <laughs> I just can't come to set. Like I understand when people flake on this, like no one's being paid to be here. Like I get it. What? I'm not being paid? <laughs> You're being paid in tequila, <laughs> Nina. You're being paid in tequila. What? <laughs> tequila. <laughs> oh, that's right. I never got paid. <laughs> Duh. Uh, you pay me a friendship. Aw. Uh, aw. 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 <laughs> the internet occasionally accuses me of paying people to be here, so. Really? Yeah. Where did they get those sources from? I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, what do I pay? What, I alcohol? Yeah. Like, I pay people in free booze, and that's about right? it. Right? This thing is one of the only shows you can really sit around and get drunk on. Because a lot of shows, it's taboo. How did you manage that? How did you wrangle that one? Because a lot of times, like, I've been, like, on radio shows, like, don't drink on there. Or don't. Well, because we're not on real radio, so the, uh, the FCC has nothing to do with this. Yeah, fuck you, FCC. Fuck the <laughs> we federal can talk government. About poop and drink. <laughs> Sometimes at the same time. We talk about poop while we're drinking. Yeah, my titties are still sweating. So it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's kind of hot. Matt does not have his air conditioning on because obviously we're filming, so we can't have air on. So it's really hot in here. I'm really sweaty. Just to let you guys know. The lights aren't that bright. They are pretty bright. Yeah, but it's not like old school. They're LEDs. Okay, it's not- do you realize I'm hung over like shit and I'm sweating out all the alcohol right now? You should be drunk by now. I am drunk. Well, then how are you hung over? I'm still hung. I'm, you know what? <laughs> drunk and hung over at the same time. That sounds like <clears throat> a poor, poor situation, you know. Poor life choices. It is. And now we drink. <laughs> What was your party called? It was bad life decisions. It was poor life choices. Poor life choices. It was good poor life choices, right? <laughs> That's what I, I was like. This is genius. Love I mean, poor life choices. I mean, it's kind of my brand. I'm about to start licking your table off here. <laughs> Some, you know, someone unexpectedly hooked up with me on my birthday. I'm sure, like that was poor life. It's called poor life choices. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 
Just kidding. Especially because that girl showed up with someone else. So, oh, ooh. Ooh. did he know that? I, now he knows. Right knows now. Oh, what was he doing while that was going on? Uh, he left her there. Well, then fuck him. No, I fucked her. <laughs> no. Obviously, that's yeah. probably why she fucked you. She's like, well, fuck him. I'm going to fuck him. Pretty much. <laughs> he left me, said, I'm going to fuck him. Yeah, that's what he gets. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> snooze and lose. <laughs> and you know, poor life choices. <laughs> poor life choices. <laughs> as as you said, poor life choices. Yeah, leave your um, promiscuous girlfriend at my party. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. Should have known better. I've tried to be a better person about that. I, I have tried as an older adult to stop fucking people's girlfriends. So, damn, I failed on that night. Yeah, you failed miserably. It's okay. It's your birthday, right? Yeah, and they weren't together much longer. Oh, well, obviously, if he left her, yeah, I get pissed. If he would just get up and leave me. Like right now, he wants to go take off and eat some pizza, but he still knows better that he cannot get up and leave me <laughs> because I will come after you. I'll find you. You two live together. Is that so? What? It's really easy to find him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Duh. Duh. When you share a legal residence, it's Wait, really easy to find. What are you doing here? Um. <laughs> Makes it real easy to find the other person. <laughs> fuck. Hey, why is all your shit here? Why the fuck is all your shit here? <laughs> You're trying to make this your house now. I live here too. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> look at my ID. My address is this address. <laughs> what the fuck? He left to Texas for a while, right? And then he came back. I'm like, oh, you live here? <laughs> like, I was confused. I'm not living here. I forgot you live here. I'm like, I was just falling out of the bed, <sighs> snoring, farting. <laughs> and skipping around. Is that please? <laughs> like, oh, I forgot you live here. It's been so long. It's been all, a whole week. Family. It's been a whole week. <laughs> Don't forget you live here. <laughs> All your fans are like, oh, you're just sleeping and farting. It's just sleeping and farting. <laughs> we could do my live live stream while I'm sleeping and farting. <laughs> 24 hours live in Nina. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's into it. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody's into it. You no, know, somebody actually wanted to pay me one time to have a phone on while I'm sleeping, which was really creepy. Like Skype me while I'm sleeping. How much do I want to pay you for that? I think it was like I was like a uh, five hundred an hour. Did you say no to that? Yeah, I don't know. I just felt kind of creeped out. I don't. I don't. What if I turn around and fart and I, I grind my teeth at night? I'm like, <laughs> put a fucking mouth guard in and make that money. <laughs> make that money for that mouth guard in. Oh my god. <clears throat> Roll the CVS. Get the fucking mouth guard and make that fucking money. I used to, I made I was in, in, in dentistry, so I made my own mouth guard, but um I just fling it out. Your excuses are even worse now. I just no, I just can't keep it in my mouth. I was just like, oh, I just fling it out. I can't keep mouth guards in. Five hundred if anyone wants to watch me sleep, a hundred an hour. Twenty <laughs> percent of Nina's rates. You snore? Oh yeah, badly. Oh. <laughs> it's like Jack. Oh, I have, a, I have a fucking CPAP machine. Like, you do? Yeah. I've been telling Jack needs one of those. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I like I get scared, like because I'm like, oh, what the hell? Sometimes he stops breathing while he's snoring. I'm like, that's pretty bad. Like, bro, you're like 30, and you like, you, yeah, scare yourself sometimes. One hundred an hour. One hundred. <laughs> I'm gonna pimp him out. Anybody want to watch Mass Sleep? Hundred an hour. Hundred an hour. You don't have an agency anymore. You don't get a piece of me. <laughs> you don't you're represent an agent anymore. You don't represent. <laughs> you don't represent me anymore, Nina. Call uh, Nina L. Uh, Society 15. You can book him. <laughs> $100 an hour to watch him sleep. <laughs> I sleep a lot. You got to sign up. It's fucking great. I sleep so much. You got to sign up for the whole night. You can't just <laughs> you can't be in for two hours and be out. No, it's got to be all nighter. All fucking night. And getting, me getting up to pee does not count. <laughs> I'm old. I got to pee sometimes. Oh, a lot. I, I pee a lot. But I also sleep a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to sleep at sometimes like ten o'clock, and I'll still sleep to like noon the next day. I'm just I'm a sleeper. Like I can, woo, I can haul in some sleep, man. I can. I'm right there with you, and like I'm badass at it, man. I'm best at it. The worst is like I used to talk so much shit when I was younger. Like sleep is for the weak, and then I would just fall asleep. Like, <laughs> 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 
Like notoriously would fall asleep in movie theaters. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like you're weak if you don't sleep because that's what makes you weak because you need to sleep to recharge. I fall asleep in movie theaters during movies. He's a big movie watcher. I just can't. I My attention span is not the best. <laughs> like, especially when we watch that long movie, like with, with Jack, watch Django or Glorious. But I'm like, I have to watch it in like little increments. Like next day, like, you know, series like on Netflix, I'll watch a couple and it's like with those long movies, so I'll watch a little bit and then I have to take a break. Like I, I just need a couple chapters. <laughs> yeah, a couple. Uh, uh, I gotta take a break from this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just can't. I think I have ADHD or something because I just can't focus too long. I just get uh, like now I gotta go eat pizza. No, I gotta go <laughs> take a pee. No, I, gotta... I gotta do anything but this podcast. <laughs> Anything with this podcast. Not, I'm just really over. I love you, Matt. Don't say that. That's not what I said. You can love me and not love my podcast. I love your podcast. It's maybe not that much today. <laughs> Any other day, if I'm not hungover and sweaty, but I'm sweaty and hungover. And hungover. <laughs> like, look at this. It's like, look at all this under boob sweat. It's like turning into like one color. And it's got makeup on it. Wow, it's a mess. <laughs> I mean, this is the outfit you decided to wear now. Oh, it's really like, <sighs> tight. This is all choices you made. I did not dress you. Bad life decisions. <laughs> Poor life choices, indeed. Poor life choices. Poor life choices right there. Me also drinking the rest of the Don Gulli almost must <laughs> finish that off. <laughs> oh, no. There's like a quarter of the bottle left. Yeah. There was like almost a full bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And it's self service. Uh, I'm not forcing you to drink more. I know. I force myself. <laughs> that sounds like a poor life choice on <laughs> your part. Poor life choice. Oh my god. Anyway. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho's. This is so cute. You have a lot of these. I do. I want some from my house. I will give you some. And now we drink. Well, I just realized they cut those off center. Yeah. I'm like, did you make this yourself? <laughs> I did not. That's the worst part. I did not. You paid somebody for this? I mean, it's cool, but it's kind of... It's, yeah, it's like... The, it's like they were drinking when they made it. Yeah, it's a little... They dead. were definitely drinking when they made it. It's, it's pretty pretty off-center, but... Uh, oh, yeah. No, I've never noticed how off-center that is. Holy shit. I was pretty fucking off-center. Like, um, they were pretty drunk when they... But, you know, it's cool. I will own. I, I will give you some. <laughs> I will give you some of the fucking coasters. Where do you get coasters from? You may have them made? Where? I don't remember where. I got those made in 2018. Oh, God. They're like antiques. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this show a long fucking time. Wow. In porno years, I've been doing this for about a million years. Yeah. It's like porno years, like dog years. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Yeah. I was literally talking to someone a couple days ago. It was just like, I, we were, I was sharing her some pictures of us at Exotica in 2013, like down in Miami. And it was just like. This was a million years ago in porno years. That's 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 when I met him, 2013. That's a long time ago. Ooh. Yeah, it's just like the amount of performers that I'm friends with these days. Like, oh, you weren't even in high school in 2013, <laughs> right? <laughs> some weren't even born. No, but some, yeah. When he had a birthday, I was like, "What? You were born?" I'm like, wow. It's, it's it's crazy. It's so fucked because you know now like born some somebody born in what two thousand and four? Five, no, 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 no. No, they're twenty one, two thousand three, but eighteen is like two thousand five. So somebody born two thousand is like literally like two thousand five, two thousand six. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Yeah, it's getting very close to the point where you could have been born after I was already in the industry. Yeah. It's getting yeah. to that point that's very quickly. Thing. That's pretty scary to like acknowledge. Like that's I'm like fuck. It used to be when I used to years ago be like, "Oh, where were you on nine eleven? And they're like, "If it wasn't anything besides something adult, it's like, "Oh, you're too young." And now it's just like, "Oh, you weren't even alive yet. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even." <laughs> that's true. That's crazy. If you really think about it. It's, like, it's crazy that I can now like legally drink with my son and stuff. Like, wow, like, bro, like, you're like old. Like, you're like a whole like grown dude. <laughs> like, right? You could have grandbabies. Like, what? Oh my God. Imagine me as a gilf. I, mean, I just it, don't feel like I'm ready for that. Like, I just don't. What if I was a grandma? I mean, I th- could be a grandma. Thankfully, like, he's a stoner, so his sperm can't slow. <laughs> <It doesn't- laughs> 
<laughs> Facts. Facts. So yeah, I'm probably no babies there anytime soon. Yeah, I've heard I heard stories about that. That it does. <laughs> Add in hot tubs. Oh, is there smoke count? You're just getting your, your son into like hot tubs. Like, here, smoke this J. So, yeah, no more babies. <laughs> like, I, I'm, not, I'm not ready to be a gilf. <laughs> I'm still a sex symbol. I'm not ready to be a gilf. Sit in this hot tub, smoke this J. <laughs> Drink this Mountain Dew. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Get all that yellow five in you. Uh, <laughs> like, gee, mom, thanks. Wow. <laughs> You're the best, mom. Wow, okay. <laughs> Gee, a hot tub. You rolled me up a joint. <laughs> Give me this mountain too. <laughs> you just really love spoiling me, huh, mommy? Yeah. <laughs> now drink up. <laughs> How would you feel if, like, you became a grandmother? Oh, my God. I don't. So this is makeup artist, um, Mark for Brazos. So she got pregnant the same time her son got pregnant. Well, no, I mean, he got someone pregnant. So that's kind of. I was about to say, like, yeah, no, <laughs> but got his girl pregnant, and so she was a grandma and a mom at the same time. So they're gonna have. He's gonna be friends with his uncle. His uncle and him are gonna be the same age. It's kind of weird, right? Right. Yeah. So I don't know. I just can. I'm still myself trying to have a baby. <laughs> yeah. So you know that? Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. Yeah, we've been going to fertility clinics. Really? He's been having to jack off in cups. And then we even shot like a little thing for OnlyFans where I'm jacking him off in a cup <laughs> for OnlyFans. Yeah, it's been a journey. Yeah, it's been crazy. What well, made you decide that you want to have more kids? Just- well, he doesn't have any. So, and I know he wants, he wants a baby. So I already have two, so I'm not going to be selfish. Well, you can't have any. I have two, but you, you know, so I'm like, well, I guess we'll, we'll, I'll squeeze one around. But <laughs> it's just, you know, it's been, it's been tough. I was pregnant last year, but we lost it. I'm sorry. I know. The conversation just turned really dark. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well, we're back out and trying again. We got back up. <laughs> Liz trying's fun. It is. Yeah, it's trying. It's fun. But after a while, it's just like, oh, oh when is something going to happen? <laughs> Are you like rocking like the fucking ovulation rings? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I have everything. I have like the chart, ovulation, everything. I'm like, okay, babe, like I'm ovulating. I'm like pissing on the things to see. You. I'm ovulating. Come here and fuck. You got to come home. We need to fuck right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I come in the bathroom. I'm ovulating. We're going to fuck. <laughs> It's like, I can go see my family like this week. No, you can't go anywhere this week. I'm ovulating. <laughs> I need you to hear because I'm ovulating. Right? We're trying to make a family. Fuck. Fuck that. We're trying to make our own family. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a journey. It's wild. Yeah. We've seen, we've seen a doctor and like, I guess, you know, it's. You going to try IVF too or? Um, I, so luckily I only have to do I, IUI, which is like, so basically they're just like, like find a sperm and then they wash them and clean him and then they just take them and they're like, oh, here you go, little guy. That's where you need to go right here. And they just put them in there. So I, IVF, they actually have to like, if you don't have enough eggs, so they harvest your eggs and then they grow it outside in like a little test tube or something and then they put it so I don't have to do all that so they're basically just have to like find a good sperm and just put it where it needs to go yeah so it's easier so yeah we're gonna get started on that I'll let you know how that works out cool <laughs> but in the meantime I can drink <laughs> that's the only shitty part about being pregnant you can't drink I'm like fuck I mean you can yeah you maybe, shouldn't, but you can. I just feel like, okay, maybe like after the first trimester, it's okay maybe to have a glass of wine. Now, don't take Nina L's uh, <laughs> advice here, people. Okay? Well, <laughs> but, how are you going to get them to appreciate whiskey if you don't drink like fucking hard liquor while they're in the womb? I mean, my mom was chugging at it while she was, maybe that's what happened to me. And maybe that's what problem <laughs> I don't know. Could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. I don't know. Don't take my advice, please. No, don't. Do not, kids, do not take my advice. Do not. <laughs> I mean, take my advice. Don't breed. But. <laughs> don't. There's enough people out there. It is. It's, it is. Well, at least you know, like, you have done motherhood. You understand what it is. Like, I feel like people that are first-time parents who don't really understand what they're fucking getting into that are just yeah. like, I know how to have a mini-me. Like, Yeah, eh. it's not until. And then you're like, and you have a baby like, oh, and you're in the hospital like, oh, and now I have this. It's like, 
get a new puppy and then you're like stuck with it. I'm like, okay, now I'm going to have to take care of you for 18 years. <laughs> Thanks. And then they send you home. And like, especially the first one, you didn't even know what the fuck to do. And you're just like, uh, yeah. This well, I'm not doing it. Well, first one's hard. Well, actually, my son was way easier than my daughter. Like, he was just trying to, like, raise himself. Like, he was just smart. Like, my daughter's like, ah, fuck you. I hate you. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. See, I want no part of that. Why I'm not doing it. Why I'm not doing well, it. Mental health matters. Mental health matters. <laughs> Oh, just, you know, I think I'd be bad at the job, so I'm not going to bring someone into this world and prove myself right. <laughs> Never prove yourself right. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Some you don't want to prove yourself right in. <laughs> we'll keep that in the land of theory. <laughs> and just deal with it. I know there. you've never even had pets, or you don't have no pets, no plants in here. Like, if you guys would like see Matt's place, he literally has nothing alive in here besides like me. <laughs> Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's alive. He's over there. You just don't hear him. He's Silent Bob over there. <laughs> but like when we're not here, it's like, well, do you have a roommate? I guess you keep him like as a pet, right? Your roommate. <laughs> it's like a child. Play like the fifth pet. on that. Play the fifth. <laughs> Play the fifth. <laughs> he's pretty cool. I don't live a lifestyle that is conducive to, you know, keeping things alive. Yeah. It's hard to keep things alive. It's like, it's hard. And the government really frowns upon losing children. Like They do. Once they're out of you, inside of you. I mean, well, I just said, like, it's so hard, like, literally so hard. So last night, it was my friend's birthday, and we were out drinking, and it happened to be 7 in the morning, and then my alarm goes off to take my daughter to school. And I'm still shifting. I'm like, fuck. And she had finals. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, um, at the point she they, has a migraine. <laughs> at the point, at the point where they have finals, they should be getting themselves to school. Not yet, not quite. Why not? She can't drive yet. Just call an Uber. <laughs> With my money. Yeah. I don't get paid for the show. I can't pay for a rest. <laughs> I, I'm sure your OF can cover an Uber. Uh, yeah. So I, I mean, just I hope I hope your OF can cover an Uber. Occasionally. Yeah, if you're old, can't cover an Uber. <laughs> it's Shit's gone wrong, Nina. Shit's gone wrong. It's just been rough lately. I can't even, I've lost weight just because I can't eat these days because shit is just so expensive. It's one thing like Biden did for America, like he ended obesity because nobody can afford to eat anymore. <laughs> nobody can eat. It's all getting skinny. Oh, I know. I, I, it's just like, spent, I just spent $300 in groceries for myself. Yeah, and that's just like nothing. Like, where's it? Like, eggs are, like, fucking six bucks. Like, what the fuck is this shit? It's wild. Now, fast food? Like, remember, like, dude, 90 cents, 90 cents, you get a bag of burgers? Like, now you don't, you, but you get burgers, like. Well, sorry to get into some California politics real quick, but it's <laughs> fucked. it's, like, all, like, U.S. So. Well, no, but it's fucked. California raised the minimum wage for only fast food workers to $20 an hour. Yeah. I was talking about that last night. It's crazy. But. But they're just like they're cutting like their hours though. Well, but, yeah. But now they raised our food prices though. Well, and that's the thing. Like the problem with all of California worker protection laws is every employer just works to get around them. Yeah. Like they don't comply with them. They just look for loopholes. And the problem, like I'm all in favor of raising the minimum wage because the minimum, raising the minimum wage raises the wages for everybody. Like. Yeah. I know. But nowadays, you can't survive off of what like minimum wage anymore. Especially here. you can't. Like, but, the medium home price is, like, like a little bit under a million dollars here. Right. Like, you can't fucking do shit. So, I mean, it, yeah, but it's still kind of it, fucked it, up because. It becomes more fucked up when you're only raising the minimum wage for one group because it doesn't actually raise wages for everybody at that point. Just like, raise our burger prices. Right. It just <laughs> raises the burger prices. Like, they're just going to pass that shit on to the consumer. It's, it's not like. Oh, we're going to take a hit to our profit margin. Uh-huh. We're just going to pass that on to They're the just fuck- cutting so. their hours and then raising burger prices. So I'm like, thanks. I, oh, hey, we're going to put you under 32 hours so we don't have to give you benefits anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's performative bullshit. Something's got to happen. Like, I was laying in bed this morning. I'm like, can they even like, raise prices even more than it already is? Like, what if one day we're paying like $20 for a carton of eggs? It probably will happen. Like, it's nuts. Well, and it's crazy. Like, there's, they're talking about, Charging people thirty cents a mile to drive because there's so many EVs that the yeah. like, they're not making money on the gas tax. Yeah, like I, s- 
how the fuck are they? You anyone? can't live. Like, they don't charge you to breathe. Okay? Five breaths, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. 30, like, that would have mean at 30 cents a mile, at bare minimum, you know, you would have paid, like, a little under $10 to get from your place to here and back to yeah. fucking do this show. That's fucking insane. On top of the gas. And then on top of the gas. The gas is already, like, out off the Richter here in California. Like, it's fucking insane. And I have a gas. I, I drive a Challenger. I know. It's loud. I know. It's beautiful. I know. I show him off. Like, this is my baby. It's my pride and joy. I love him so much. And, like, you know what? Like, probably, like, six months ago, I'm like, fuck it. I'll pay for the gas. I don't give a shit. I got a loud, obnoxious. Now I'm like, oh, well. The EV's look kind of good. This is It's like, it's rough. I made the jump over to a Tesla about a year ago. Oh, you're a Tesla guy. I am. Ah, ah, brother. I mean, you, brother. <laughs> it's purely, it's purely an economics thing. Yeah. There, I have a charger in the garage. You have a charger in the garage. Yeah. A charger. No, no. Like a phone charger. <laughs> Pretty much for my <laughs> for, for my car. Yeah, it's a phone charger for my car. Oh, you have a charger. I thought a charger. Like a challenger and a charger. Like, no, no, no. like I'm like, what do you have a more part? <laughs> no, no, no. I I have a charger for like, you know. I'm like, oh, you have a Tesla and a muscle car. I don't think a char- a modern charger is a fucking muscle car at this yeah, point. Yeah, it is. It's four doors. You better sell this off. Hey, me have SRTs. There's there's Hellcat chargers. Fine, fine. No, I have the a wide body ones. I have a wide I have a wall charger. Oh. <laughs> Not the wide body Hellcat one. No, no. no. <laughs> So I, it's the reason I went to a Tesla is, is purely for economics. Like my building charges me twenty dollars a month for unlimited charging. Wow! So just the economics of it was like okay, done. But like, can you drive to here in Vegas? On what happened? Fuck no, I can't. Exactly. Like now they have like the plugins halfway through. But what would you do before? Well, like, there's nowhere. I like, never had have, to deal with that before. Like, and you just have to sit there and wait while it charges. Yeah, and fucking Yermo. Oh my fuck! I drove out to Avian. That's crazy. I drove out to Avian in twenty three and had to stop one hundred fifty miles outside of Vegas to charge. Damn, that's crazy. And then I had to charge in Vegas before I left and charge one hundred fifty miles outside so of I Vegas. I drive a muscle car. Yeah, and it's not that bad at gas. Well, I have my commuter car, my Benz, my good old Betsy. But it's it's one of those things where like it's a great car for getting around town. Yeah, if I want to drive yeah. to Vegas, I'm fucked. Yeah, I was gonna say you're like it's just you're so just like baking the heat like. Chicharronis under the oven light in a Mexican store. <laughs> well, look, luckily the Tesla has fucking Hulu built into it, so I could at least watch oh, TV. Oh, really? You have yeah, Hulu? Okay. Uh, there's YouTube and Hulu. But then built what in. if it's not charged? Can you still watch it? Well, it's while it's charging, I could sit there and watch it. Oh, okay. Just All keep right. the air on, watch it. We'll just sit in the car and watch TV <laughs> while it charges. Shit, I wouldn't have the patience for that. Oh, no, it sucked. I On the way back, it was great because I was fucking hungover and I just slept in the car while it was charging. Yeah. That's a good idea. Sleeping is great. I love sleeping. It was just like, oh, hey, leaving AVN. I need to fucking get home. Okay. Well, I got to charge for an hour in Vegas. Fucking see, almost fully reclines. Fucking knocked out. <laughs> Perfect. Made to Yermo in the middle of the night. Like, okay. These hills have eyes. Some creepy guys start coming down from the hills. I don't know. I was asleep. How do you piss this on your car? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I was asleep. Fuck, I was asleep. The minute it was done charging, made it back to LA. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it, but nowadays it's better for you guys, right? Because you have like plugins and yeah, more places. It's yeah, more calm. So does every gas station have a plug? No, no. Like depending on where you're at in LA, this side of town has like no fucking chargers. So what if your car's not charged and you really need to go somewhere? Oh, you're fucked. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you really just have to watch that shit. Fuck. So you just have to go. So you have to wait while I charge. Well, you have a charger in your garage, right? So, so what if people do up. that don't have a garage? They suck. They just suck it up. Like oh. if you live in Hollywood, the nearest charger is in fucking WeHo. So you have to go all the way to WeHo and just charge it. Yep. Wow. Yeah, it's stupid. That's crazy. Like when people are like, "Should I get a Tesla?" I'm like, "Can you charge it home?" If the answer is no, don't fucking do it. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Yeah. I never thought about that. Sheesh! I would never. No disrespect. Uh, <laughs> as I said, it's not like I'm. I'm American muscle. One hundred percent is because of the economics of it. Yeah. It's just like oh. Twenty dollars is my gas. Yeah, you know, cost my gas all month. So you still have to get gas? No, no. But like the electricity. Equi- yeah, my electricity to charge my car. The equivalent of gas is twenty dollars all month. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 
Yeah. That that it was just but like besides like going to ABN, you don't really. Yeah, I don't really leave LA. Yeah. Or if I do, it's on a fucking plane. Right. So what if you're sitting in traffic though, and you're like, you're. I just I don't know. I just have so many questions. I mean, it doesn't get that bad. It's got a range of almost 300 miles. So yeah. Okay. As long as like I'm not out driving all fucking day or driving far, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. No, no. Well, drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would much rather have a fun car, but like. Yeah. My car is fun. He has a pretty roar. So. Though I, I just found out the hard, the hard way, earlier this month. Like, oh, they sent me my registration renewal. How much it costs to fucking renew a goddamn Tesla? Don't they give you guys breaks on that? Because no, like, fuck no. Really? But how much does like, how much does it cost to renew your Hemi? Like, like four hundred bucks. Almost seven hundred to renew. What? It. Yeah. Almost. I thought they give you guys all these fucking gas like breaks because you don't have a oh, gas no, when vehicle. You, when and, you first buy it, yeah, like. And then the honeymoon's done. And yeah, they're, they're like, like fucking when, last. When I bought it last year, they're like, <laughs> yeah, the state will give you seventy five hundred back. The federal government will give you seventy five hundred back. So it's just to help. And they're just like, save that shit so you can pay for your. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I got my registration bill because, like, up until that point, wow, I, my my last car was an 07. Damn, I had an 07 fucking Nissan that I'd just yeah. been driving forever, and it's just like that was like 200 bucks or something. That it was like 185. Oh, yeah, 185 a year, <laughs> since, much yeah. yeah, since I moved to California, and it was like, so I didn't budget to fucking just drop 700 out of the fucking blue to register my car. Damn, that's crazy. Like, here you go, state. Coolsies. Yeah, thanks for raping me right now. <laughs> thanks yeah. for butt fucking me. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> right in the. Thanks. Right in the. <laughs> right in the pooper. They said it was great. Get a, get an electric car. They said. <laughs> right, it'll said, be fine. It said. They said it'll be fine. It said until it wasn't. Until you run out of gas somewhere in uh, the desert and get paid seven hundred dollars. Oh, get paid. Um, I get stuck with a seven hundred dollar bill. <clears throat> yeah, it's fucking insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Insane. That's insane. But yeah, that's believe it or not, we've yeah. been doing this for over two hours. We're gonna get you some pizza. I need, I need pizza. <laughs> I, know, I know. I need food. I, I see the look in your eyes. Just like, oh, yeah. what is this over? I would like food, please. <laughs> please, can we make this end? I Dad, like. Food. I did not say. That. No, you said it with your eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> said it with your eyes. You didn't have to say it with your words. You said it with your eyes. I read the room. You're like, I, I, I need pizza. I need to stop talking about Matt's Tesla. I need food. This isn't good, <laughs> even good content. I'm starving for bad content. I just, I don't know. I'm just hungry and I'm hungover. And I'm hot. Hot, she's hungry, she's hungover. Yeah. You know, where the, can they find you on the things? <laughs> the things, on all thing. those things. Yeah, social media, the OnlyFans. I don't what even you? know anymore at this point. I'm so delirious. You're going to make me go look up your socials for you? You might have to. It is... Uh, I don't really know. Hang on. I'm going to tell you. Uh-huh. You look it up. No? Okay. It's a race. Go. All right. You do it because I'm not a past. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Nia doesn't even remember her own socials. I don't. Um, I'm a, I'm... Okay. Twitter. It's Nina L X O X O. Follow me on Twitter. Nina L X O X O. And Instagram is official Nina Cochina. Is that that one? Yep. Yeah, so it's official Nina Cochina, which I do not have a check mark because they want me to put my real name. Yeah. I know, it's crazy. I got to talk to some people because some people have check marks without their real names that are not that big. Then they pay for it through another source, maybe. I don't know. I have to ask them. I just really don't want to do that. No, why the fuck would you dox yourself? I, I wouldn't. So I'm like, I guess I'm just not check marked then. So fuck it. If you don't know, then you don't know. You don't know. Hell yeah. And then OnlyFans is, what is it, Nina L? That one I don't know. You're not subscribed to OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I'm not. Are you subscribed to my Patreon? I'm not. Exactly. <laughs> but we can still be. So friends, we're even. Right? We're even. <laughs> we're even. Uh, it is. <clears throat> All right. Follow me on here. It's Nina L. Triple X. That's fine. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Follow me. Get in your nasty time. Help feed my cats. Pay <laughs> 500 an hour to sleep. <laughs> pay me $500 an hour to sleep and pay for my pizza and feed my cats. So follow me. You get lots of titty pics. Lots of uh, <coughs> booty pictures. Oh, 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 oh. Sweaty booty. Sweaty butt. <laughs>
Sweaty ass. Sweaty ass pictures. <laughs> and post work. <laughs> Sorry. That's what you get for having me here for two hours starving. Now you have to go to work. <laughs> I, I'm aware. I'm painfully aware. <laughs> that is what you get. Until next week, drink up, motherfuckers. Adios. Love you. Love you.